Jikido ya woo, jikido ya woo, jikido ya woo, jikido ya woo.
Is this thing on? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh my god, hi. hi. Yo, hi, Jakes. Hi, Meowie. Oh my god. Hi. Oh no, I can't hear that. Oh, wait. Hi. Ah! <laughs> hi, Zabubu. Coffee Kindred, hi. hi. Captain, hello. Uh, Queen RX, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hi. Who else is here? We got Demon Lord. We got Hardy. We got Lawson Sauce. Worstel. Possible Amnesiac, hello. Hi. Nice shirt, thank you, thank you. I have not changed this shirt in so long. It's probably like stinky, probably smells of nut and f fluids. Uh, I just have been too lazy. I've not like swapped this shirt off of this model. For this, It's been like since Legends Arceus came out, I haven't taken this shirt off. <laughs> um, Goonhead, hello. Who else is here? Oh, Danny, yo, Danny made it. Hi, Danny, welcome back. Welcome back, bitch. Melon Booper, hi. Kitty Turquoise. Oh my god. Well, fluids, yeah. I've got I've got fluids. Everyone has fluids. If you don't have fluids, you're dry. You're crusty and other things. <laughs> uh copy kindred hello. Mega high. Five meter moo. Hello, hello. Yo, a topaz sanctum. Yo, we got a whole we got a whole little party going on. Am I releasing them? What releasing my fluids? I've released a few fluids in my day. I think. Speaking of releasing fluids, uh I have a hot pocket. That's not a fluid, and I haven't released it. In fact, this is probably the opposite of a released fluid. It's a contained solid within a pocket. I don't know. I don't know. I uh, I used to never eat Hot Pockets, and now I'm just becoming, like... You you guys are witnessing my, my transformation from, like, functioning member of society to, like, Hot Pocket Pog Champ. It's happening. It's happening, and it's kind of inevitable. It's kind of... It's just how it's... It's just how it's going. Hot Pocket got cheese fluids? I guess so. Alright, then we're gonna release some fluids today. We're gonna release some fluids... Ugh. Fluids is such a f weird word. Fluids. Fluids. No. I'm trying to do pop pop effect. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay. I think it's good. Uh, what kind of hot pocket? It is a. I don't. I think it's like a pepperoni pizza hot pocket i don't know i don't know the <laughs> first stream i'm back to and you're talking about body fluids again again it was the last time you were here the the piss the piss ocean stream dang is that what i'm thinking of <laughs> is this my brand uh my brand it's only my brand when you're around apparently Peeing in the pool? No, not peeing in the pool. That's disgusting. I'm talking about peeing in the ocean. The piss ocean. We, I asked the question because I was thinking about it. I was like, do you think like humanity has peed like the amount? Do you think humanity has peed more than the ocean or like less than the ocean? Like, like the amount of volume that has been peed by humans, do you think it's equal to or like greater or less than the amount of water in the ocean, like all the oceans. I think we did the math, and I think, I think people have not peed that much. Like if you took like the average amount of, of pee that a person produces in their life, it's like the ocean is like massive, and we have not peed that much in the ocean. I don't know why I'm talking about this again, <laughs> but we discovered that before. The piss ocean. I mean, obviously. Obviously, it's less. I mean, it's only obvious when you like fully comprehend how large the ocean is. And I, I feel like a lot of people don't. Like, isn't the ocean like something about the ocean? It's like we've only discovered, like, we've only explored, like, I don't know. It's like some like really small percent of the ocean. So it's like if scientists don't even know what's in all that ocean, you know, how am I supposed to know? 
I mean, it's pretty big, yeah. It's pretty big. I don't believe some blokes have have even pissed more than the whole ocean. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. I I piss a lot. I got a lot of piss. That's why I'm yellow. I'm attractive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Ha. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like taking some ibuprofen because I have. I'm like feeling a headache coming on. I'm like, ah, I hate headaches. Headaches are the worst. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Some guy guess. Guess who? Guess what guy I'm thanking right now? I'm guess I'm thanking some guy. <laughs> some guy. Thanks so much for the five freaking gift subs. Grazie mille. I don't know how to say friend in Italian. Mi amigo, that's a Spanish. Thanks so much. Oh my god. Yo, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a big bite of my hot pocket in your honor. <laughs> Glad to have you back. Oh uh, thanks. Om um, nom nom. Here I go. Oh. Oh. Little red bunny boy, thank you for a follow. Up. I have to go to work, have fun streaming. Oh my god. Yo, thanks so much for popping in and just like doing that. That's crazy. Thanks so much. Good luck at work. Oh, sit out. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Slay. Yeah, Danny's here. Danny's here. I still miss the minigun eyes. What are the minigun eyes? You mean like the... Like the dot eyes? Like without the... The whites? What are the whites of your eyes called? The gloobloms? Hmm. Pupils? Yeah, I don't know. No. No, your pupils are the black part. Oh, when I blinked really fast? Yeah, it'll probably happen this stream because I'm going to be drawing. I'm going to be looking down. That's when it happens the most. Sclera. Oh, yeah, I think that is what it's called. I think so, Sadao. Yeah, the, the Sclera. The Sclera. I don't know. I feel like... I was about to say, I feel like sclera sounds so weird for like an eyeball part, but then I thought about it more and I'm like, you know, pupil's a weird word too. I think we're just, we're just used to pupil. Yeah, and then the iris is the colored part. I look like I'm licking the screen, bro. I'm always, I'm always licking. <laughs> I've got a bunch to talk about. I'm just eating this hot pocket. Like, I don't know. I had lunch and I was like immediately hungry after. I was like, why am I, why am I still hungry? I had eggs for breakfast. Then I had like a turkey and cheese sandwich and yogurt for lunch. And I had a banana. And then I was sitting down. I'm like, why am I hungry? Why do I have this craving in my belly? Dubious little creature getting up to mischief. Olive tea cake getting up to mischief. Hi, Olive. Hello. Welcome. Om nom nom. I want bagel bites. Bagel bites. Are bagel bites like pizza bagels? Or is that different? Okay, it's a pepperoni pizza hot pocket. Driving home, just wanted to come in and say hi. Yo, good luck on the drive, Doki. Thanks for saying hi. Well, before I get into my weekend and the stuff that happened after last stream, 
Not that I owe you everything about my life, because I don't, but... I don't know, I have some updates that'll definitely... Ow! That I definitely want to talk about, and will probably affect my streaming a little bit. Um... Before I get into that, how, how are all y'all's weekends? Hi! Um... Hi, Kentucky Duck! Quack. Work yesterday? Hog. It was okay. Okay weekends are better than bad weekends. <laughs> is that a Togepi shirt? It, it is. It's, it's Togepi themed. It's been alright. Yours is good, Olive. That's good. Good to hear. Went to the park. It was nice out. Yeah, it was, it was really nice out. It was supposed to, like, thunder and rain and lightning and blah 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 on Saturday, but it didn't. At least not where I lived. Which was kind of awesome. Like, this weekend felt very, felt very spring. Felt very early summer. Which I've been missing. I think my well just finished some more work over the weekend. Wonk. Work. <laughs> Our brother's moving back to my state tomorrow. Oh, yo. My brother was home, my, my brother was home for the past week uh, for spring break from college. He just went back on Sunday. Wow. Oh, yeah. Are we doing stuff watching the stream? So no more talking to me? That's fine. Exclamation point lurk. Exclamation point lurk. <laughs> Nom nom nom. Looks like cutie pie. Huh? Nom 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 nom. Gosh. I don't know why I'm so hungry. I wonder if there's like a food quota for like... Not even like every day, but like... Because of course there's a food quota, but like... Is there a food quota for like... um? I don't know, like the week. <laughs> I and never mind. That makes no sense. I was just thinking, like, maybe I didn't eat that much yesterday, so I'm really hungry today. But I don't think that makes that much sense because I already had breakfast and everything. Oh. So for people wondering, no, I'm not just going to be eating food for the whole stream. I was thinking of playing, um, I was thinking of playing some more Tunic, and I want to play more Tunic, but I don't know. For some reason, Mondays, I don't always feel like I want to play video games. I think it's like my inner, like, work person, my inner, like, you can't have fun on a Monday. It's a Monday. You got to start getting productive. But also, I'm just, I don't know. I also feel kind of a little, I don't want to say tired, but like, I feel a little low energy today. So I kind of just want to do something simple. Mukbang stream. Mukbang. My business side. Yeah. I have to go to work. Oh. Mondays are better than Fridays? Huh? What is going on? What's with this Monday love? I like Mondays. Fuck Garfield. Who are you people? I... I don't know. I don't like Monday. I don't. Leave? Are you telling me to leave? Hmm. Okay, Monday isn't like... I don't know, it depends on the week. If it's like a dreaded week, then yeah, Monday's like, oh god, it's starting. No! But if it's like a week I'm looking forward to, then yeah, Monday's, Monday's probably kind of cool. 
I don't despise Mondays and I'm like, oh, I hate Monday. Ah, Monday's the worst day ever. I'm not like that. I'm like, I'm like, ah, uh, I guess it's Monday again. But like the actual day of Monday, not that bad. Cause I feel like normally Mondays aren't that crazy. Monday's like the start of the week. So you're not really getting into the thick of it yet. It's just, it just feels worse because you've been trying to catch up on sleep <laughs> for the whole weekend. I'm probably failing. I'm getting thick. I've been thick. Fair Icy Bot, thanks for the follow. Why are Sundays the start of the week and not Mondays? Um, in some countries, Sunday is the, the end of the week. But it depends on your definition of end. See, like, okay, hold on. Hold on, I want to talk about this a little bit, but I've got like two more bites of this Hot Pocket, so I'm just gonna shove it in my mouth while I look something up. Huh. Ah, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. I got a hot pocket in my mouth. Ah. Okay, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. Um, I think it's like a British calendar. Hey, oh yo, Tapleos, hi. Welcome, hold on, I'm looking something up. Thanks for the shirt compliment. Hope you're doing well. I'm eating, uh, I've been eating a Hot Pocket for like the first, oh my God, first like 20 minutes of this stream. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be a jerk. Oh, no, this isn't British. What is it then? Is it like Japanese? No, no, it is British. Hold on. British, British, British. What? Okay, so some British calendars aren't like that, but some are. I'm trying to find just like the month. British. Uh, let's just look up March. Okay, trying to do calendar. Okay, I found one. So, hmm. Some of these ads are so weird. Like, I don't want to pull this up. Like, I'm on Google Images, and one of the ads is literally just like, 2022 Fast and Sexy Car Girls. I'm like, huh? I'm trying to look at calendars. Why are you showing me this? <laughs> Google. Okay, here's what I'll do. Whoa. Okay, I found one calendar. I don't think this explanation is worth that much. It is worth all this trouble I'm going through. Stop. Okay. Unpleasantness incarnate. How could you? Okay. Um. Bah. Here we are. Okay, months. <laughs> I mean, uh, calendars. So the calendar 
that a lot of us use is like this one with like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So a lot of people feel like, oh, well, why, why we start on a, why does the week start on a Sunday or whatever? When, you know, the week, the work week starts on Monday and goes to Friday. Blah, blah, blah. Like what, why? Someone was asking that. Um, I don't really know why, but in some places, the week on the calendar actually starts on Monday and it goes from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and ends at Saturday, Sunday. Now, like some people prefer this, some countries prefer this. I'm not sure which ones. I, I used to think it was just like Britain and like maybe Japan, some other places. I don't know about, definitely not. I don't know about Canada, maybe Canada. I, I don't know if anyone out there, if any of you guys know, Oh, I got a stretch. I would be very... I don't know. I'd be interested. I got a chip flake calendar. They're from Britain. And yep, it starts with Monday. Oh, yeah. Germany, too. Hmm. Your work week starts on a Wednesday? I stop caring because nothing about the placement of the day is on the calendar changes the fact that today's Monday. That's true. Yeah, like it doesn't really matter, but okay. I could see why some countries and like some people would prefer the calendar to start with Monday. But for me, here's the thing. <laughs> I guess they're both kind of right. Cause you know, Saturday and Sunday is known as the weekend or you know, the weekends. It's like the end of the week. So either you view the end of the week as, oh, it's at the end chronolo chronologically. Like that's how the week ends. Or you view it like, like, uh, pay no attention. <laughs> or you view it like, like, like a loaf of bread, you know? And the left side, Sunday, Sunday and Saturday are like the butt ends of the bread. Allow me to illustrate. <laughs> if it's a big loaf of bread. You know, it's like, ooh. It's like, ooh, we got bread. And it's got the, this is bad bread, hold on. You know, it's like a big loaf of bread and you got the butt ends on the ends. The ones that have the butt side, you know? <laughs> and then and then these are all like the slices. Oop. The non-butt slices. But Saturday and Sunday are like the ends of the bread. <laughs> you know? It's like they're they're the ends. They they sandwich the rest of the week in between them. Which I think is why they're put on the the ends, you know, because it's the week, the weekend, <laughs> you know? Loaf of bread is a really good analogy. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> this is not the best picture of bread I've ever drawn. Definitely not, but, um, you get what I'm saying. It's a big loaf. Big loaf of bread. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> have you drawn bread? I have drawn bread before. It's just, it's hard to draw bread over, over a calendar. <laughs> For whatever reason. I don't know. I'm hungry now. Does the mere mention of bread make you hungry? Or was it also the Hot Pocket? I'm like, go draw a good loaf of bread then? Fine. I will. I will. That's not bread. Here, I'll draw some bread. I'll draw some bread. I've drawn bread before. Blah, blah, bread. Whatever. 
Whatever. Ooh, it's a loaf of bread. Uh, okay. It's not amazing, but <laughs> it's better. Do I like banana nut bread? Of course. Oh. Oh. Danny said you're an ass? I'm an ass? We saw. My bread looks like ass? What? Danny, why would you say that? I don't know. Bread's like got a weird... Weird shape. That's a bit more breadish. Why am I drawing bread? I don't care. I don't care about this bread. This is a challenge. Bread challenge. Here. Here, see? The bread was cut. The butt was cut off. Butt was removed on the one side. Whatever, it's a loaf of bread. <laughs> bread VTuber. Hi, Connor. Gulp, gulp. Thanks for the hydrate. I'm a stretch. My bones. I got dumpy. You need to practice your bread baking spell. What? What's so bad about this bread? Golly! This bread is like completely acceptable. My boss tells me I'm the worst baker he's ever met. How would anyone know that? How would anyone know about my bread skills? Okay. What was I doing? So sad. <laughs> So I'm kind of just going to be drawing random stuff. I want to figure out Makimo's palette a little bit more. Um, well, I don't know. I feel like I got it down for the most part. But I want to, I just want to play around with like the paws and stuff and the other looking. I don't know. I just want to play around. I, I really just felt like drawing. I haven't drawn like all day except for this. Um... I might draw some Pokemon, because I'm working on my Pokemon video, and I haven't drawn a lot of Pokemon in a while, so I want to practice. Basically, we're, I'm just going to be chilling, drawing whatever. So, you know, if that interests you, then cool, we're on the, we're on the same page, kind of. Kind of, sort of. Macamo. Spelled Macamo? Yeah, that's how it's spelled. Sad Jacka. Sad. I'm sad all the time. I don't know. I always default. <laughs> Not always. My two like go-to facial expressions are always either like. <laughs> it's always either like happy or like stoic. Which you know, aren't that different. Or tired. <laughs> Three main emotions. Draw a beauty mark? Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where? A mole on his nose? What? Why? <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> I really like the Sonic video you made. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah, I'm. I've been working on a Pokemon video. The script is, the script is pretty much done. Um, and I'll probably, <clears throat> I'll probably be recording it within like the next day or two. <clears throat> and then I just gotta draw it all. 
And, you know, do the editing. Start screaming. Damn. That guy's also morbid. <laughs> Boop. Bop. Beep bop. Boop. Whoop. Bop. trying to short stream today i'm not oh yeah i have like i've got stuff i've got an update life update six five i'm actually six four turns out <laughs> i'm not six five i'm six four i like measured myself for the first time in a long time and i was like wait oh i'm actually six four but yeah i'm tall <laughs> what am I doing? Look at plots. Okay. Jack was sad because he had a mole. What? Where is this coming from? Where is this mole speak coming from? Connor, you're seven, seven, three, seven foot three. I actually saw this one guy in like the pizza place by my house. He was so tall. He was definitely like over seven foot. And like, it was crazy. I was like, oh my God, like, Oh my god, <laughs> I feel average sized next to this giant. You mentioned a mole story the other day when I brought it up before you got a bit spicy. What? Okay, well that was like... It's not a mole. <laughs> no, I had to get like this big beauty mark. Big mega freckle removed from my back. <laughs> The other week. Don't make my medical procedure <laughs> into a joke. I almost died. I almost died and you're laughing. I can't believe this. I can't believe oh, this. No. <laughs> I didn't actually almost die. That's a lie. <laughs> I just don't like calling them moles because I never called it a mole. When I think of a mole, I think of like a big round bump with a hair in it and it was not like that it was just a large it was literally just a large freckle and they <laughs> it's the trauma i'm traumatized okay oh no <laughs> was he cute You're talking about the, the super tall guy i don't know i don't forget what he I kind of forget what his face looked like. I was just like, he's so tall. <laughs> he was ordering pizza, so I only saw like the back of his head. It's a little yeah, I don't know. I don't want people being like, ooh. <laughs> I don't want people saying I have a mole because that just sounds, it just sounds gross. Mole is like one of the worst words. Like, I don't know. It just makes me think of I just don't like moles. I don't like moles. I don't enjoy them. You can have a tasteful, you can have a tasteful beauty mark or whatever. But mole just sounds, it just sounds bad. This is me. Yeah, Mo, Mo said, because this is Mo thinking about moles. Think about moles. What about the animal mole? Even them, I don't, I don't love moles. You know, I think moles are all right. They're fine, I guess. 
They got those like weird noses. <laughs> the like weird star noses. Even Monty Mole. Monty Mole, I'm like, whatever about. You know, I, I don't really care for Monty Mole. I could take or leave Monty Mole. Moles are like, moles are like C tier animal for me. Who likes moles anyway? That's what I'm saying. Who likes moles? Is it Windmill Isle? Oh yeah, this is Windmill Isle. If you want another current song, you can do exclamation point song. And usually it works. Sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it does. I should give you a link to it also. <laughs> Mole mania. <laughs> what if I was a mole? Olive, if you were a mole, I would I would consider you less cool. I'm just gonna I'm gonna be honest, I would think you were less cool. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, Olive the Mole? Ew. <laughs> I wouldn't be, well, not ew, but I'd be like, oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Moles are just like, they're just, they're like in a bracket. They're in their own bracket of like design, like animal design or like character design. Like, and it's just, I, I don't know. It just doesn't appeal to me. They don't appeal to me. It's not what I want to look at. <laughs> Uh, Bristol and Nolal, thanks for the follow. Monty Moles my Mario baseball man. Moles can be funny, like, in a stupid way. Like, I think moles are- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I got scared by the- The jacket up pop. I saw it out of the corner of my eye, I thought it was a bug. I thought it was like a spider crawling up my- My screen. <laughs> Oh my god, I got scared. Ugh. <laughs> <Oy>. <laughs> I'm sorry, Olive. I'm sorry. You respect my hot take, though? Okay, thank you. Moles are F tier animals? Whoa, F tier? That's a little much. I would I would consider a, a D. I feel, I feel like F tier. That might be a little too harsh. Like, just a little. What? Okay. Blah, 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 blah. I'm mad at moles. I'm mad at moles. Moles. Moles make me mad. <laughs> I don't like moles. I think moles. Don't they like destroy crops and stuff too? So like we as as humans, we are enemy. The moles are our enemy. We we rely on crops, and if the moles are like actively hurting our ability to have, like, food. I, th I think it's fair to say moles are our enemy. Worst animal than best animal now? Hmm. Worst animal. Um... I don't know. It would... It would probably be like some deep sea creature or maybe like, maybe like the man of war. Man of wars are so scary. They're like just giant, super long jellyfish that just like, they just sting you and they kill you. <laughs> like that's scary. I don't know. Naked mole rat? Naked mole rats are, okay. I only like them because of Kim Possible, but that's enough to make me not say they're the worst. Moles pose no threat to humanity, and if they did, I'd be on their side. <laughs> do moles not actually... Do moles not actually, like, destroy crops? I finally watched your stream for the first time. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, Splash JC. First time. Whoa. We talk about really stupid stuff here. 
What are your What are your thoughts on moles, like like the animal, <laughs> or moles like not the animal? Do you have any mole thoughts? Any mole opinions? What? I hate when that. Ow! It's all closed. Everything's closed. Just stay in the lines. No! <laughs> oh my god. Why? <laughs> I hate coloring sometimes. You know, Manowar start digesting you. This yeah, exactly. They start digesting you the moment they sing you. Like that's like freaky. What about Secret Squirrel Sidekick? Morocco Mole. Morocco Mole. I'm gonna look up Morocco Mole. Okay, Morocco Mole is cute. I like Morocco Mole. guy I, this is a fun design this is a fun looking mole but I, even then like just the word mole I don't like the word mole 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 too cute I think Macma would look good with one just with a mole I mean yeah not all moles <laughs> are bad. I just think... I don't know. I, I don't love moles. I, I it's, it's mostly the name, also. I have a mole on my back or should probably be seeking medical help for it. Connor, I literally got... Okay, it's not a mole. <laughs> I got... I'll find out. Say mole. I got a mole taken off my back like two weeks ago. I think I had like stitches and everything. Yeah, <laughs> not all moles. Some of my best friends are moles. <laughs> I'm not a mole racist, no. Molophobic. It's literally just the name. If they were called something else. <sighs> okay, it's not just the name also. It's slightly the mole aesthetic. What the hell? Why is this not filling in? Ugh. Everyone's, everyone's calling me a molest. I'm not a molest. Okay, maybe I am a little. The more I think about it, yeah. Maybe I'm just molest. What about mules? I like mules. <laughs> I like, mules are cool. I don't know why mules get a pass in my brain they do deal with it a rose by any other name would smell just as sweet yeah but it's, it's not only the name now that i'm thinking about it it's more they're just little diggy guys and like i don't know i i don't enjoy digging i don't i don't admire the act of digging, like, digging is just like, okay, you're tunneling through dirt, cool, whatever. <laughs> All right, I was just like swimming, but through, it's just swimming, but worse, like, I don't know, I don't, <laughs> I don't have respect, I don't respect the moles. That's that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm afraid of horses and mules. Are you actually afraid of horses, Connor? Are you afraid of donkeys? Or is it just things that are part horse? <laughs> because mules and donkeys are pretty close.
Reminds me of the joke of the mole family and the mole dad says the mole mom's cooking smells great. And the little kid mole says, all I can smell is molasses. <laughs> mole asses. Mole asses. Wait, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, they're just like stinky. I don't know. I would think they'd be stinky. It's all covered in dirt all the time. Donkeys too. Is it just hooved creatures with big long heads? Am I streaming for the long haul today? Um, yeah. Okay, so I was initially planning on potentially doing a different kind of like stream schedule this week of like doing like more streams, but for shorter amounts of time, like like doing like four two hour streams instead of like two four hour streams. But as uh, fate would have it, it's not what I'm doing this week because I actually got a job, a part-time job. Like uh, literally last week, literally like after Wednesday. And it's starting tomorrow. So yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna like, I don't know. I don't wanna do anything radical with the stream schedule. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to stream later this week because I don't know what my schedule is gonna be at as of right now, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll explain the job a bit more because the cool thing about it is that it is very flexible. Oh shit, oh yeah. Am I nervous? Uh, yeah, on some level. They're too big and I feel like a horse could murder me at any time. I look out my window and fear every night waiting for the bow and a horse decides to kill me in my sleep. Well, you are like in Texas. I guess there's more of a chance for a horse to kill you. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Congrats on income. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I got a job. Well, I'm like starting. And it's like a trial month, sort of. But I, I basically have it. Uh, basically, what the job is, is there's like, um, my mom found out about it at the gym because she goes to the gym and one of the regulars there was like asking uh, if anyone had like any, no, knew anyone or had any like kids or whatever who were interested in this like photography kind of job. And the job is basically, I got to go to this it sounds sketchy i gotta go to this warehouse and take pictures of um these antique instruments that this guy has because he used to run like music stores like all over long island and um i gotta take pictures of these antique instruments and then i have to put them online to be sold or whatever and that's that's basically the job he wants some help like setting up like a web page and stuff and I just got to go there and uh, they're providing me like with the camera and like a little photo studio and stuff and all I really got to do is take pictures and then put them up and like make sure the descriptions are accurate and stuff sounds like a bad cover it does sound a little bit like huh but like now the guy's like legit and he's really nice and like he ran a whole music company and yeah so I don't know I'm like starting starting tomorrow and the cool thing about it is that he literally said like i guess my mom told him that i do like freelance stuff and like my own projects and junk and he, he literally said like oh yeah i don't want it to be like a stressful thing that takes up a lot of your time um he's like this will be very flexible if you ever need to like just spend time working on your own stuff for like whatever like you can't come in any days let me know and i can like work from home because i could take pictures one day and then put them all online the other day so kind of like a crazy job that kind of came out of nowhere and it's kind of perfect just like a nice I don't know extra source of income which I, I felt like I've needed and I felt like I've needed to get some kind of job <laughs> at some point 
Or am I sure they don't have Coca-Cola in the instruments? I, I would not know. I can check, though. <laughs> Yo, Scout, hi! Howdy. Sounds like a cool dude. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. And I like instruments. I love, like, music stuff. And I've done, like, I don't know. I, I have a digital media degree, so I know how to use cameras and junk. And, um... I know how the internet works, so I definitely feel like I'm a good candidate for the job or whatever. Also, uh, Kat, thanks for the follow. And yo, Hayes the Fifth, thanks for the follow. Hi, Hayes. But yeah, that's that's starting tomorrow, and it's also like he said he wants me to work like 20 hours a week for the first few weeks to like get started. So that's why I'm not sure how the rest of this week is gonna go with my schedule and everything. But um, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. I'll figure it out and I'll let everyone know as soon as I can. But yeah, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be nice to make some more consistent money because I, I do freelance things and then I get money from like YouTube, but it's not consistent. A, because I don't make a lot of YouTube videos because uh, I'm myself and <laughs> and B because yeah freelance stuff that I do is not as consistent as I would want it to be I guess and even then it's kind of exhausting like having every everything I do be art because like all the freelance stuff I do is art I don't know I just get, I get a little tired of art sometimes not today though not today. This drawing is hella cute, but it's missing a mole. No! No! There's no mole. Mole pole? What would the mole pole? What would a mole pole even prove? If people like moles or not? Mole or no mole? Embrace the mole. No. 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 Never. Never. I'll never be like you. I'm not like you. The difference is like day and night. It's like, aw, happy. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> what the fuck? This looks like the the SpongeBob meme where it's like, wait, you guys were being, you guys actually like blank? <laughs> I thought you were all joking. <laughs> or whatever. Wait, you guys actually like moles? I thought it was a bit. Hi, Jack, uh, Jackie. Hi, Ludango. Yeah, we're... People keep bringing up the moles. I don't like moles. I don't like moles. Yeah. Me, when I, me when I see a mole. 
a mole in my vegetable garden? I don't know, I, f I feel like mole just always has negative connotations too, you know? If there's a mole in like, like, I don't know, secret spy operations, like that's a bad thing, you know? There's a mole. It's gonna reveal all the secrets. Or whatever, you know? It's, it's never a good thing to have a mole. <laughs> Happy and sad, Jesse. Did a mole reject me? No. What? <laughs> no. One time I got bit by a duck. But I never got rejected by a mole. I haven't had that experience. Orange jacket side is No, no one redeemed made jacket. That's not even real. <laughs> That's not even real yet. If it ever will be. Mole men will take over the surface. Yeah, that's like from Johnny Test. The freaking mole people. It's like mole people. Like I, mole people would be gross. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all you mole mole stands in the chat. I know there's a lot of you. I know you all love moles. But that's why I had to like, I had to say this. I had to get it out of the way. Mole jacket? No. <laughs> mole enthusiasts. Mole. <laughs> mole mania. Oh my god. Dockery. Hey, oh. Thanks so much for the raid. How's it going? How was your stream? Raiders. Raiders, how was the stream? What are your thoughts on moles? I don't like moles. I don't enjoy moles. <laughs> the raid animation, oh, uh, thanks. The raid animation was actually made by, um... oh no. Oh no, my orthodontist is calling. I can't answer now. They want to like explain like insurance stuff to me. Oh God. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the raid animation. The little animation was made by Hardy. Uh, one of the mods. Raid Shadow Nut. Insurance. Just leave the room. Well, now I missed the call. <laughs> I missed the call. It's okay. I went in today oh, to no. get my teeth checked out to potentially get, um, call them back. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess I, I went in today to get my teeth checked out for, uh, to get Invisalign or whatever. And they, they were calling me about insurance stuff. Okay. Um, all right, I guess I'll call back. We'll do a little ad break. They left the voicemail. Hold on, let me see what the voicemail was. I'm gonna like get frozen. Yeah, they want me to give them a call. Okay. Okay, I'll call back, I'll call back, I'll call back. We'll do an ad break. We'll do an ad break. <laughs> get high, teeth stream, yeah. Teeth stream. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm off the phone. With my with my orthodontist. Um oh, where's my where's my wire? <laughs> Did my orthodontist talk about my molars? My molars? No. I hate the word mole. I hate it. Let's take off my sweater. Take off my sweater before I come back on. Oh, healthcare. Oh, insurance. Also, oh, frame drops. Oh, I'm dropping frames right now. Not even doing anything. Uh, hold on. Yo, Murphy, hi. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, I'm I'm almost back. Okay. <laughs> What are my thoughts on voles? Uh, what are voles? I forget what voles are. Are voles like a a bug? Is that a kind of bug? Check out our best art. Oh, thanks. Um, okay, yeah. So I just talked to my my orthodontist, and uh, or yeah, she she basically said that. They, they want to see if I'm, like, covered Hi. under my dad's insurance, but they got to send, like, this thing. And she was saying it might take, like, three to four weeks. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm not because I'm pretty sure my dad's insurance only covered dental or not dental, like, orthodontal stuff while I was a minor. And a minor I am not anymore. I haven't been one for a while. <laughs> so, I don't know. They said they're gonna send it out, but I'm like, I don't want to wait an extra month. Because once I get approved and say I'm gonna get the the Invisalign or whatever, that's gonna take another three weeks. So I don't want to wait seven weeks to start them or whatever. If I'm gonna do it anyway, so bleh, whatever. A little dumb, but that's the that's the, the whatever. That's well, the time. It's like a mouse, a vole. All right, I'll look up what a vole is. A vole. Oh, I know what voles are. Ugh. Okay, some of these voles are fine. Like, these are some voles. Some of these look cute, but then you got like this one. <laughs> His teeth are so orange. I don't like the orange teeth. I'm very judgmental of these voles. Voles versus moles. Voles looks more like a mouse. Eats plants of all varieties. Will burrow underground. Can damage tree and shrub roots. Uh, garden damage. Oh. Eats plants, leaves, and stems. So these guys are actually maybe even a little worse than the moles. Uh. Moles looks like it has no eyes or ears. Right. Like, they look like they have no eyes or ears. Like, I'm sorry, that's freaky. That is freaky to me. I, I need some eyes. I need some ears. Easy to identify by long nose and big front feet. Eats worms, grubs, and insects. And they eat worms and grubs. Like, come on. Come on. Leaves behind big mounds of dirt. Yard damage, underground tunnels everywhere. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Do I hate guacamole too? No, I love guacamole. If these were pronounced molies, <laughs> if they were called molies, they would be better. Imagine if they, they were actually just called molies. That'd be very funny. Uh... Man. Guacamole has mole in it? Yeah, but it's not pronounced like that. You fool. You big goon. 
Oh, you're gone, Hardy. Bye, Hardy. Thanks for hanging out. Go look at the the gym. Getting swole. But not getting mole. I don't like moles. Emerald World LP. Thanks for the follow. Also, sorry if like the frames are dropping right now. Well, they are dropping right now. Sorry if it's like lagging. Internet's on the fritz again. Blah, blah, blah. It's probably those damn moles. Probably those damn moles in my wires, in my walls. <laughs> Yo, Chris. Hi. Oh, you DM me, Mac a mole? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> wait, but this is actually. Wait, this is actually. <laughs> Oh, this is actually adorable. Hold on. <laughs> what? What the hell? <laughs> Macamole. Oh, well, Macamole. Macamole is kind of adorable. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Macamole. Hey, Peter. <laughs> what what Macamole? Hey, Peter. <laughs> hey, Peter. <laughs> oh my god. Lois, I can't believe this. It's fucking Macamol. <laughs> I always predict moles would be the next fad Sona. Macamol. Macamol does look kind of cool. But th this Mac this mole has eyes. I know they say moles have eyes, but like they're, they're like hard to see. Or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. This this small, this small's cute. <laughs> if moles looked like this all the time, I would like moles more. I would. Now I gotta look up a mole. I gotta look at a real mole. Hold on. But yeah, Chris, <laughs> that's so good, Chris. <laughs> I love that. Inspired to make a mole sona now. Fine, fine. You guys want to just prove me wrong out of spite? You, <laughs> you want to show me? Show me your moles. <laughs> Dylan loves gamer. Hi. Gotta get going. Have a good rest of the stream. Uh, bye, Chris. Thanks for popping. Uh, thanks for the mole. What the hell? Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Hasta la pasta. I gotta look up a picture of the freaking mole. Uh. No, I don't like moles. I don't like them. Hold on. Like, okay, okay. Like, okay. Their eyes are so small. And their hands just like, they look so, they look like those nails. They just look like gross little old man nails, nail hands. And like the star nose mole, like that's, uh, that freaks me out. <laughs> I don't know, just like the fact that you can't see their eyes or their ears like that easily. Like I, something about it, I don't like it. I don't like, here's the naked mole rat. I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about naked mole rat. This one, this one's a little cute. Like when you, when you could see its eye, it looks a lot cuter. But like if I was just walking around and I saw, I saw this emerge from the earth, but before me, if I like fell, imagine you're just walking, you're like, la la la, walking through your backyard. You trip on like a rock. You're like, oh, oh no, I'm, I'm falling. Ah, and you land on the ground. You're like, oh, <laughs> I'm all, uh, got dirt in my face. You like, you're like, ah. Uh, kind of a little winded you sit up a little you like look in front of you there's just like a hole in the ground you're like what the hell and then this thing pops out i'd be like what the fuck oh my god it's a mole like i wouldn't even know it's a mole actually i'd be like what i would think it was like a demon i would think this is like a, a freaking demon I say lila i sometimes yeah sometimes i la while i walk just saying like if, th if this popped out of the ground before your eyes like literally like if this was like all you could see in your field of vision, that would be terrifying. There's like, 
There's no way around it. I'm sorry, like... <laughs> mole, mole scared. Dirt demon. I got my entrance really on the fritz. Laugh. It's like, I don't know where his eyes are. I can't, he can't like look me in the eyes. Like that makes it worse. Just makes it scarier. What about this? Mole facts for kids. I want to know about some mole facts for kids. Hold on. Okay, moles are small, dark, insect-eating mammals. They have cylindrical bodies, short, dense fur, and sensitive, hairless, tube-like snouts. Moles live in Europe, Asia, and North America. Their eyesight is poor, but they have an acute sense of smell and a good sense of touch. They can feel for prey and sense underground vibrations. Moles live in underground tunnels that they dig with their powerful front legs. They are well adapted for a life of burrowing. Their front legs have per the, the, the powerful claws and their hands are permanently turned permanently outward in the form of a shovel to help dig through the ground. Like what? That sucks. That, that sucks. Just having your hands permanently turned outwards. I don't know. The European mole. I just, I just don't enjoy moles. Some moles, sometimes a mole take an average of 0.23 seconds to identify, capture, and eat their prey. That is terrifying. That's actually terrifying. What? <laughs> That's scary. Moles are scary. If there was like a pet mole, someone had a pet mole. I don't know. I, I would still think they're weird. <laughs> I would still think they're weird. Moles are strange. That's about it. But 0.23 seconds. Like imagine being a grub or a bug just underground and then 0.23 seconds you're just dead. Jack is just jealous because he wasn't as good as at digging when he was a miner. What, in Minecraft? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm bad. I'm bad at that. And I know it. Okay. I've done barely any drawing. I'm, I've been talking about moles this whole time. I gotta figure out the pause. Pretty wide, wacky world. Come with me, grab coins with me. Oh, yeah. I really do not like moles. They are super gross. I want to kick a mold into a hole. <laughs> the voice cracked. <laughs> it's a hole. I don't like moles. Oh, yeah. I'd rather be a mole. Blibly, blue, blah, blah, blah. This doesn't look that good, but whatever. It's more about the color. My dislike for mole has become violent. <sighs> okay, the the mole that Chris drew is so adorable though. Maca mole. <laughs> the one mole I can get behind out of all of them. Well, that mole and uh, what, what's the one? The other one. Secret squirrels. 
sidekick or whatever. Hi, Masterge. What am I drawing? A ref sheet? Uh, kinda. Sorta. Kinda, sorta. I'm trying to work out the... How I want, like, the pause to look. Like, with the coloring and... And everything. So I need a more finalized-ish design for a certain reason that I will not disclose. Not saying that the design could could never change after this, but um, So I've like, <laughs> I've barely drawn today. So I'm making excuses for why I'm drawing this hand so long. He's called Jack a Mole. Doki, no! <laughs> Stop spreading lies! Stop spreading lies! What? <laughs> I, no. <laughs> it's not Mac a Mole. It's not Jack a Mole. No. No! <laughs> No! What do you want from me? Do you want me to like moles? You want me to just reverse my opinions on moles? What is what is the end game here? I feel like this looks a little weird. I don't know why. Bloop. Wacka Jacka. Wait until all the are there any mole VTubers? I'm actually kind of curious. Are there any like mole? Are there any like like people out there? Any furries or whatever who have like mole sonas? That's like. I, mean, I, I I'm sure there are. There's gotta be. I just want to know, like, why the mole? Like, what, what, what draws you to the mole? Do you relate to the mole? Do you feel like, is the mole, like, you look at the mole and you're like, yeah, that's me. I'm just like a little, like, creature with very small, almost non-existent eyes, who burrows to the ground and eats worms in 0.23 seconds because <laughs> they're cute no <laughs> no they're all right at least i th cartoon moles are different cartoon moles are are better but real moles i don't know can't see very well maybe i'm a mole maybe you are maybe you eat worms yeah like senior chip <laughs> I forgot how jamming this song was. I added some more Katamari songs recently. I found this one the other day and I was like, oh, it's so good. Hi. 
said that. Endler! Hi, Endler! How's it going? What are your thoughts on moles? We're asking everyone. <laughs> Question of the, the night, the hour. I finally appreciate Katamari. What do you mean finally? I I've I played Katamari before I even started streaming. At least the first one. My thoughts on moles is that, well, they're moles. See, that's fair. That is a fair opinion on moles. I'm talking about the animal, also, <laughs> in case you didn't know. Have I seen Austin Powers? I have. I've seen that first one. And like bits of other ones. Behave. Am I planning on playing Tunic at any point? Yeah, I want to play Tunic later in the week. Uh, like more of it. I love that game. I I've only beaten like the first major boss. So I'm assuming it's like the first major boss. Um, but it's so good. I almost played it today, but I wanted to chill a bit more. Hi, Twip! <laughs> Some reason random sad jacket face is so funny. Why is he so sad? Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I just... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I was feeling sad when I drew it. <laughs> Slightly. So I would hop in for a sec to see how streams go before I'd go, so go do some work. Yo, well, thanks. Thanks for hopping in. What? Doki's gifted a gift sub to Mole? What? <laughs> Thank you so much, Doki. Thank you. Really appreciate that. I cherish your contributions. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I, I hope Mole enjoys the gift sub. I hope Mole shows up. Yeah. Can't wait for Mole to swing on by. <laughs> Can't wait for Mole to burrow on in to my stream where I've just spent the past hour slandering his name. Goddamn. Goddamn it. <laughs> what if Mole shows up? And what if Mole. What if Mole. What if. I don't know. What if Mole burrows into my computer and destroys the stream from the inside? Why? All the lines are closed. Why? I hate this. Oh. Wait. You say I have, I have a zero I have a zero pixel gap tolerance? What does that mean? It's not changing anything. Mo last stream in 2019? Damn. Maybe this will be what Mole needed to like to resurface. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
Uh. <laughs> uh, bah, 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 bah. Mole come back. I will be the mole that pierces the heavens. What the hell? I hate this. I hate that the stupid fill tool isn't working. Well, now it worked. Normally, don't be lazy. <laughs> what? Lazy? Uh, I can be lazy if I want. Because I wanted this to be like a little fast. I just want to test out the colors and stuff. But instead, I'm falling victim to. my computer. I like I like Unova also holding a kidney bean little bean now beans are not the same color that's what I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to figure out the bean color because like I could do I could do that like take like the same tail color Put it up there. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I like that that much. Maybe those also. I don't know. Pink. Yeah, but it's hard to find a good pink. Well, that's actually, that's a pretty good pink. But that's like... Make the beans like green. Aqua. You guys have crazy suggestions. I'm for it. Light green beans. It looks like a lima bean. <laughs> it's literally a lima bean. I have the power of lima bean in my hands. Blood red. It's already played. Get out of here. Nah. Yeah, thanks for the bad senior kit. I had a dream last night while I was playing a new Pokemon game that was 2D like the older game, so it was more open world. Ooh. Thought this was Pokemon music? It was before. I like the contrast of the green, but... But I don't know, it just makes me think he's holding a lima bean. <laughs> I went pink. I don't know, I feel like the pink just kind of blends in with the orange in a way. What were the other suggestions? Blue. Only thing is, I don't want to use too many colors. You know, like, I like keeping my character palettes, like, somewhat limited. Which is why I like the, I like the orange, the orange hands and feet. 
more than the brown ones. Because before I was, I was using three different kinds of browns. If you look up here, there's like, there's the helmet brown, there was the hand brown, and then there was the feet brown. And then there was also, but then the ear brown was the same as the feet brown. Like there was, there was just a lot of different browns <laughs> to keep track of. I didn't say aqua what? I, uh, you didn't say aqua, someone else did. Rainbow beans. A lighter pink. Do a Pokemon Nuzlocke jacket. If I do one, I'd probably do a Gen 5 one. I think I would do like Blaze Black or Volt White or whatever it's called. Hmm. Hmm. kind of like pink here's the thing if i do a pink maybe i want it to match the inside of the mouth in some way like uh hold on I gotta go see you dudes. Have a fun stream. Bye Anwar. Thanks for the thanks for the fun stream wishes. Hope the rest of your day is nice. And uh thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. That's what I say when I leave places. <laughs> you know when you leave a place and like you wanna say like if you leave like a restaurant or whatever, you wanna say like or a store, you wanna say something nice to the people who work there. I'll usually say like, yeah, like have a good one. I don't know if that's like... a colloquial thing, or if it's just everyone says that. I take this pink. Hmm. Uh, JKY23, thanks for the follow. You're so cute, aw. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What color is the inside of the model's mouth? Uh, it's literally the same color as, like, the mask. It's orange. It's the same exact orange. I just want to see if this pink would also work as, like, the tongue. Just to see. I mean, it doesn't have to be the same. Like, I can only do so much of the same colors, but... Who knows? Hello, nut man. Take my biddies before I do something reckless with them. My Ish. god. Uh, I'm dropping the biddies all over the place. Oh god. <laughs> Hypnoxia, thanks so much for the 100 bits. Yo. Thank you. <laughs> thanks for your bitness. Ha, ha. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh god. That was a dumb one. That was a dumb one. <laughs> I'll take my bitness elsewhere. Ah ha ha ha. I'm at work, but just stopping by to see how y'all are doing. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by. 
I appreciate the the stop buys. You know what this pink and this yellow or orange kind of remind me of? Kind of reminds me of Agumon. <laughs> In a weird way. Anyone else? <laughs> Who? Agumon, the little, the dinosaur from Digimon. Oop, I did it wrong. Yeah, I'm realizing it's like a very similar yellow or orange. This character from Digimon. <laughs> what the heck is the Digimon? What? Do you not know what Digimon is? What? Can't believe this. Gomamon is my favorite. My favorite is. Hold on. My favorite Digimon is. Um. Okay, yeah, some of these <laughs> some of these I probably shouldn't jump. My favorite is uh, Flame Draymon. He's so cool. Literally like my favorite Digimon. One of my favorite like character designs, I think, also. Pull him up. Character? Flame Draymon. <laughs> Flame Draymon's a very dumb name, but he's so cool. <laughs> he's like, uh, he's one of the the Digivolutions. Did you did you did you evolve? Did you evolve for? I don't know. A Vmon. I don't know. He's just cool. I just like him. I gotta show Gomamon to the world. I got Gomamon. Oh, Gomamon. I like Gomamon. Almost. Hmm. 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 Almost. Um. What's a Gomamon? Almost slightly, uh. Mole like with those. The <laughs> <laughs> With those outward facing claws. <laughs> hmm. Not as cool as Flame Draymon. <laughs> I'm still blushing. Who's the other one? Togemon? Oh, the cactus? Yeah, the cactus is cool. This one, Togemon. What's the one that's like the green bunny with like the guns? <laughs> I didn't know you were a Twitch streamer. I am, I stream pretty regularly. What's up Gothic Flowers? Welcome. Oh yeah, thanks for the follow. I do, I am. Do you know me from somewhere else? Terriermon, oh Terriermon, yeah Terriermon. Terriermon. Oh, okay. Terriermon is up there also for like one of the best, one of the best Digimon. Look, look at this guy. Look at that. He's a little dude. He's got like giant ears and a little, little horn. Is that the Mr. Valentine? Hi, Dean. 
What's up? Um, yeah, one of his Digivolve forms. The evolutions in Digimon are so... They're so funny. Some, some of them are so crazy. Gargomon, that's what he's called. Like, I don't know how people keep track of, like, which ones are connected to which other ones. Because, like, the names change so much. Like, it goes from... one. Why is it Terriermon if it's, like, a little... Oh, blah, 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 my hat. <laughs> Why is a Terriermon if it's like a bunny thing? Like, Terrier makes me think of a dog. And then it evolves into this. It evolves into Gargamon. Which is like the same thing, but with pants and like freaking. Uh. Gabbling gun hands? Like. <laughs> it's so funny. No more hat for me. My hat. <laughs> they all look so silly. <laughs> it's Digimon though. Digimon... Digimon was actually before Pokemon. It was slightly before. If you didn't know. Never got into Digimon. I was never like... Incredibly into Digimon. I was like... Um, I mean, I would watch like... Uh, some of the, mo the movies and like the cartoon. But, like, as far as, like, the games went, the games were a bit more confusing, and I never, like, collected them or anything. I had- the, the one Digimon game I played was, uh, Digimon World 4. Which was fun, it was, like, on the GameCube, it was, like, a multiplayer game. But I definitely knew more about Pokemon than Digimon, I just thought Digimon were cool. Digimon in the US was censored and airbrushed over in certain, certain episodes. Yeah, they like changed it like completely. I'm pretty sure. Like they made it a lot worse. <laughs> Should try out Cyber Sleuth sometime? Ooh. Yeah, like I've heard some of the games are really good. It's amazing. Whoa. Whoa. But like, Flame Draymond, so cool. I love Flame Draymond. I love Flame Draymond. I love Flame Draymond. If there's like a spectrum for things I love versus things I hate, Flame Draymond would be all the way on the love side and Moles would be all the way on the hate side. Just so we know where we all stand. You guys would be somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Find out that Takuya was voiced by a woman in Japan, even though he's a preteen. Tons of male, tons of young male characters are voiced by women. Like so many. Timmy Turner, Jimmy Neutron. Uh, there's so many more. <laughs> Naruto is voiced by a woman. Tails, Tails is yeah. Gotta draw some Digimon now. Some Digimon! But I didn't get to decide on the... Pause. Maybe it'll come to me. Cheetah! Cheetah tequila. Cheetah tequila. Cheetah ta. Cheetah tequila. Cheetah tequila ta. Yo, thanks so much for the resub, Cheetah. For 13 months. That's the most lucky number month ever. Thanks so much. Also, holy cow, it's been over a year. How? I think a year ago, this was around the time I was streaming. I don't even know. Bowser's Fury? Or maybe Fez? God. I don't know what ha what is happening. <laughs> With time. So you know what? Yeah, I kind of want to draw a flame. Draw fl 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 I want to flu be blue. I want to draw these guys. Not all of them, but... I want to try this one on this one. Wow. 
whatever. What's in there? Oh, the months. No one told me you were alive. Do you have your Twitch notifications on? <laughs> Glad you're alive again. Oh, wise doge? Oh, I thought you meant me. Well, guys, I was. Yeah. Um, Lloyd from Lego Ninjago, the original one was played by a female. Whoa. Yeah, there's, there's so many. Also, I'm realizing something. Hold on. There. There we go. I got like a Pikachu kind of face. Oh, we're gonna ha have to. There's one Siren doing stuff. I'll be in and out. Oh, that's fine, Doki. Get done what you gotta do. Sometimes it gotta do what you gotta do. You know, Shadow of X Freelance Police? I think they have mole people. God. <laughs> no, I've never played any of the Shadow Max games. To be quite honest. Are the old Sam Max games, are they like point and click kind of games? Or were they, was it a show first? Should I try to finish the commission my friend ordered or should I just stay in chat? I mean, if you have something you gotta get done, totally go get it done. You, there's no obligation to like stay in chat and talk or whatever. If, if you wanna lurk, you can lurk. If you wanna, you know, go do your stuff and listen to something else, that's totally fine also. Ain't no pressure. I'm just, like, I'm literally just working on my own stuff. So like, you know, <laughs> if you wanna work on your own stuff while I work on my stuff, like some people like to do that.
Hmm. Is it Disney adult? I am not a Disney adult. <laughs> Although, actually, I, um... I watched uh, Turning Red yesterday, last night. I've been, like, hanging out with my friends for a bit. Uh, and then after they, they went home, I was just like, oh, I should watch Turning Red, because I've been wanting to for a while. And, uh, I did. I watched it, like, by myself in my room. <laughs> like, lights all low and, like, and dim and stuff. I got, I got in the mood. It was really cool. And, uh, I really enjoyed it. Like, I, I really liked it a lot. Um... It made me cry, like, <laughs> like actually, like, I was like, I was like, oh my god, uh, and I got all emotional, and tears were rolling down my face, especially like towards the end. <laughs> Awuga, <laughs> the Awuga was so good. <laughs> I'd seen like some of the memes, like the meme faces. And when that part happened, I was like, oh, yes. If Disney Plus, I don't have Disney Plus, I use uh, Percy's Disney Plus. <laughs> I can still feel emotion, yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. Oh. There you are, feelings. I don't know, it, it really made me like reflect on my own life in a lot of ways. And like, I don't know, I don't, I don't understand. Or maybe on, I don't know. The people on Twitter who are just like certain film critics who are like, oh, turning red is so much more uh, polarizing and not as like broadly understandable or or like people saying they can't relate to it or whatever I'm like what how it's so literally so many in that so many things in that movie well it's crazy relatable for me and even if like you can't personally relate to it it's not like anything was like completely outlandish at all, like, it was things I feel like everyone could understand, like, everyone could understand, like, the fear of, like, disappointing your mom or, like, having, like, overprotective parents and stuff and, like, all that shit. That's not anything people can't understand. That's, like, the whole big main thing of the movie. And people are like, blah, 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 blah. I related to it a lot. Yeah, like, I related to it a lot. <laughs> I saw a one star in Turning Red that said, This encourages children to disobey their parents to be who they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean... What? I feel like they comp they're, they're brainwashed. Whoever wrote that. <laughs> or they're like a bot. Like... That's so funny. <laughs> no, it was it was such like a good like wholesome movie. Like I loved all the characters. Like it, it just felt really nice. It felt really personal. Like you could really tell that uh, the director that like the movie was very, like, important to her, and that, like, it had a lot of, like, it felt almost kind of a little autobiographical, which I liked. I probably 
the turning red. Like, it had some great parts to it, but it's got some pacing problems. Hmm. I... The only part I felt... I don't know. I felt like... I don't want to spoil anything. I, I felt like the pacing was good. I mean, it didn't feel too long or too short. I could maybe see, like, towards the middle. It felt a little bit like, uh... I don't know. It, thinking back on it, like, towards the middle, I feel like I wanted certain different things to maybe happen, but thinking back on it, I was like, you know, it kind of makes sense the way it happened, and if it happened differently... I can't, can't get too much into it because I don't want to spoil it. Uh, it would be, like, not really true to the characters. But also, I don't know the most about, like, movie pacing. I know I know when movies feel like they drag and stuff, and, like, or when things happen too fast can be an issue. I feel like there was one part that was, like, I was like, oh. But, like, I don't know. I was entertained the whole time. I never felt like I, it was dragging or anything. But, yeah, I still, I still gotta watch Encanto, too, because I, yeah. <laughs> I've heard that one's really good. I feel like the main reason the movie had the aesthetic it do is because Disney trying to bite at Sony Pictures. Um, maybe, but also, I don't know. Pixar movies are like in production for like so long, and I don't know. I think like in general, it just seems like lots of uh, 3D animation studios are just veering away from trying to look like hyper realistic all the time which honestly I'm, I'm all for I gotta go later y'all bye cheetah thanks for hanging out and thanks for the resub, also. Hope you have a wonderful night. You know, Disney movies and TV shows, there's no directors or writers of color or different orientations or disabilities. Uh... <laughs> I didn't know that. I know that Disney's... I know Disney's been under fire a lot recently for, like, certain things that are very sucky. I don't want to get too deep into, like, this kind of stuff, though. Just because I don't know everything about it. But, like, yeah, I do think that sucks. It's a shame, but the... I don't know. I really like per Turning Red. I think Encanto will last like Frozen has just because of the songs. Really? I feel like Frozen, I heard all the songs like on like the radio and stuff. Has that happened with Encanto at all? We had a kid in the store last night singing the Four Town song. Oh! <laughs> the Four Town song! Four Town! I'm a Four Towning. Between the gay communities, throw away jokes in their movies. Oh yeah, well. Yeah, Disney does, like, the thing where it's, like, they'll, like, say, like, oh, like, the, the whole thing with Beauty and the Beast, that was, like, one of the big things I remember. They were, like, Beauty and the Beast will have the first ever, like, uh, openly gay character on screen, or, like, like, something like that, and it was just, like, uh, whatever, the dude with Gaston, I forget his name, but, like, it wasn't even a thing, and nothing ever even happened, and it was just, like, what? It's, like, you've had, like, flamboyant characters or whatever in the past this isn't anything new it's just that they said it and acted like it was a big deal but it was just a throwaway joke yeah they they do that because they they're like trying to appeal to like overseas countries also 
all the time. So if they ever do put in anything, it's something they can just like chop out at a moment's notice. Because, you know, they, they, they really just care about money. At least like, like Disney as a company, I mean. I think like the individual directors of things, like like Pixar and like Turning Red and stuff like that, like they, they totally, they totally care. Like the individual artists who work at these companies, I'm sure most of them are like, do care. It's just the big, the executives get involved and they're like, oh, oh, oh that won't fly in Bluebly. This would never fly in the country of Bluebell. We didn't talk about Bruno's a huge song. See, I've mostly just seen Encanto stuff on uh, Twitter. But that's just because I'm on Twitter a lot. <laughs> yeah, Disney's fifth annual first gay character. Yeah, they always say it. It's always like, this will be the first ever time. <laughs> and then it's like, nothing happened. And it wasn't the first time that they did that. It's just like, it's like what, what, what? Like, either just, I don't know, either just don't care, just don't say anything. If you're not gonna do anything, then just don't say anything. They're just making themselves look worse, if anything. You know, like, they should just act oblivious, like, oh, we had no idea. But no, they're like, hey guys, we're awesome and super progressive. But then they're like, not. Nah. It's kind of dumb and funny. In a, in a, you know, in a, a cosmic sense. It's like funny, like, oh, ha, ha, ha. <sighs> Oh yeah, in Turning Red, one of those side characters has a diabetes patch. Yeah, I saw that. I saw someone point that out. And, um, yeah, I think I, that, that movie has so many, like, little, little nice details that really make it feel like it's like, I don't know, it just feels nice. It feels like a place. Like a real place with people. There's a lot of representation during Red. Yeah. It was it was good and like it's like accurate to like how Toronto is also. So like there there's people like complaining about it online, you know, like those people. But it's also like Bruh. <laughs> no matter how you slice it, you're wrong. <laughs> That's good. People people be existing. I like how this this turned out pretty cool. Little Terrier Mon. And then there's Luca. I haven't seen Luca. So don't spoil. <laughs> Now, now that I finally started using uh, Percy's Disney Plus account, maybe I'll watch it. <laughs> I gotta go goodbye, everyone. Bye, Senior Chip. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Turning Red is set in Canada. Yeah. Have you seen it? I'm, I'm assuming you haven't seen it, because literally, like, in the first scene, she, like, points out that she lives in Toronto. Can't say that, Disney will murder us? Well, Percy, we're related and we live in the same house. So it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just forgot. Silly Percy. What's for dinner? Um, steak tidbits on toast <laughs> and nut yeah with a side of nut with a side of nut Okay, cool. Little Terrier Mon. <laughs> and then... Will I draw Flame Draymon? Flame Draymon actually seems kind of hard. But, you know what? I'll try.
Whatever happened to Artful? I remember everyone talked about joining it and then everyone left anyways. Yeah, I remember that. I remember Artful. <laughs> I don't know. I, to be honest, I think like the first week of Artful was very... For anyone who doesn't know, Artful was like this... Uh, they were basically touting it as like the next like kind of deviant art sort of, but it was like mixed with Instagram and like other kind of social media things. So it was like better. Um, and they were like, yeah, they were touting it as that and they're really trying to push it. And I joined it, but like, I remember like the first week or so, the whole site was really slow, but it was kind of because everyone was joining it. Like way more people joined than they thought. So the whole uh, app, was kind of being wonky and it to me it didn't really feel that great to use and I think that kind of I mean that's probably not the only reason that it didn't succeed but like it definitely didn't help which is unfortunate I don't know if people still use artful but I haven't but I rem I don't know I, I wanted it to be cool I think it's so hard to start new social media platforms now, like any kind, because I don't know, everything's been funneled into like the big three websites or whatever. So it's really hard to like, break break into that at all. You're like the only person I knew that followed me there. <laughs> yeah. I liked I liked seeing your stuff. Felt nice when I tried it but no one's active so I just didn't feel motivated to use Yeah like that was the thing. Like, maybe if everyone tried a bit harder, but I don't know. I forget when it came out. Was it like, didn't it come out like in 2020? Spirited Woo, thanks so much for the thanks for the resub for three months. Thanks a ton. Check it out. Oh yeah, woo. I'm oh yeah wooing. <laughs> Issue with platforms like that is that it only advertises itself as for artists, and a lot of the general audience viewers would not feel compelled enough to interact with people's posts. That's also true. I I think another part of it is like a lot of people who joined were like artists who were like, oh, I'm gonna join and get, like, and show off my art, but not everyone really wanted to look at everyone else's art. You know, like, you ever join like Discord servers and everyone in there is just promoting their own stuff, but no one's actually like looking at other people's stuff? <laughs> you know, maybe I kind of got a little bit like that. I, I don't really know. I'm not gonna like concretely say that, but like... That might have been a part of it. I remember when I, when I first started YouTube, I joined so many like... Um, like forums and stuff, and I, I was kind of like that. Like, I kind of just went on and like put my stuff out there and then like left. <laughs> like, I didn't really even like look at other people's stuff that much. I tried a little bit, but like I, I was mostly just there to promote my own things, and then that doesn't really work. Unfortunately. I don't know what I was trying to do with those. Bum, 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 bum. 
I think it's more like how people keep trying to start the alternative to any given social media platform to be like the ultimate oh yeah, free speech platform and then they collapse in a week. Yeah, they're always like, we're starting a new thing where you can't be censored and you can't be canceled. Come on down. Oh, this is the new great thing. Blah. And everyone's just like, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I also feel like it, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just apathetic. But I feel like I feel like people are apathetic. I don't know. Like, we've kind of been with the internet. It just feels like it's so weird because it's like so little effort to go to other websites. But I feel like there's, at least for me, there's just like this little nag in my head that's like, but I don't want to. And I feel like I've been, I don't know, I've been conditioned. I've been conditioned and I know it. And I'm like, it sucks. But I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> I feel like I also catered to a certain kind of art. I tried to find stuff, but none of it was stuff I really enjoyed. I found some cool stuff, but it was enough to warrant staying around. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't on it enough to really recognize any of that. But yeah. Can you share my workout your stream with some mighty fine workout music? I uh, guess. Ah, uh, yes, the... What is this? Link to the past select screen music. <laughs> Get your pump in. Glad to hear you're enjoying it, though. <laughs> Who's your favorite Digimon? Uh, probably Flame Draymon. I was saying that. I love Flame Draymon. He's so cool. He's so cool! <laughs> Jack of playlist bumping, yo. Glad you think so. I kind of, yeah, I don't know. I curate it from time to time. If I get bored of songs, I'll like take them out. What kind of pose am I trying to do here? No. Hmm. I gotta add the maid song from Kanamari. So, thanks for the Rick Roll, I guess. <laughs> Aren't I the one guy from Get Mads? Uh, please. <laughs> please, Get Mads is from me. <laughs> no, I've been on Mads' channel. Yeah, I, I, I do a lot of the background art for Mads. But yeah, you might know me from, from Mads' channel. I just gotta get like something down. I gotta expand the canvas too. Ah. Trust Jack is so fucking well, he does you justice, huh? You 
think Mads draws my character better than me. <laughs> do you do you really think that? That's only how I know Jack. No. Nah, Mads is really cool. I love Mads' art. Hi, nerdy guys. I didn't say he was better. He said he did justice, though. Well, I guess justice doesn't justice doesn't imply better. But it could. <laughs> Expand that. Expand dong. I think he's even gone. They're like. Got like flaming. Like leg thingies. I don't even know what they are. Leg guards? Leg shells? They look like egg shells, but they're leg shells. <laughs> Strangulation redeem win. <laughs> Gah. Time zones everyone's traveling guy because your art's cute, but I have to go sleep, so hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Yo, thanks, uh, thanks, no every, no every work, no every worse. Thanks, thanks so much, and thanks for the follow. And nerdy guys, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Have a nice sleep. Hope you sleep like an angel. Sleep like the angel you are. I'm assuming you're an angel. You might not be. But I'm assuming. <laughs> you never know these days who's an angel, who's not. He's got big legs. <laughs> I gotta make it even bigger. Canvas size. We can go larger. Do, 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 do. Aren't you the person who lost in Hanafuda to Mads? No, I never played Hanafuda with Mads. I drew art in that video, but I, I never played Hanafuda with Mads. You might be thinking of someone else. You might be thinking of Ivan or Kurt or whoever. I played Animal Crossing with Mads. <laughs> <laughs> More like a devil, but I'll take that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Devil's welcome. We 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 do a little bit of a we do a little bit of evil on stream every now and then. <laughs> right, guys, are we're like the most evil evil stream out there? I think. I don't know if those feet look good, but whatever. Whatever. I take it all back. Your streams made my calf cramp. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> like JPEG. <laughs> I like that. Evil stream. Would I steal the moon? I would steal the moon. I would steal the moon. I would put it in my backyard. 
just like above it'd be like floating like you could still walk around in my backyard but it'd be like right above it so if i ever did steal the moon like you would i would get caught like right away <laughs> all you would have to do is just look in my backyard maybe right there Destiny 2? I don't know the plot of Destiny 2. Did you draw and draw in these sections really cool? Thanks so much. Yeah, I don't know. Digimon just kind of came up in combo. And now I'm drawing Digimon. It just kind of happened. Jack to draw Macamole. All right, maybe I'll draw Macamole at some point. <laughs> maybe after these. I should probably blow out my candle. I don't want to burn through it all. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's literally right in front of her. All right. All done blowing. Ugh. Are you being that boy? How are you wazzing? I haven't wazzed once yet, but hi, Fowler. <laughs> How are you doing? Have you wazzed lately? Is your mother at home? Armless. Armless in Seattle. mother your mother what kind of animal is your avatar uh the age-old question um i'd say that they're a a fluffer nutter which is some kind of amalgamation of various mammals with a nut hat <laughs> But I've heard people say like tons of different things. I don't know. It's kind of like a chowder situation where it's not necessarily one specific animal. Rawr. What's up, Padayafu? Hey, okay, I don't know what kind of arm pose to do. Arm poses are hard. <laughs> Like, I'm, I get, I get certain ones in my, in my mind, but it's hard to execute them sometimes.
Especially without reference. Like, I'm just drawing this without... I'm just kind of trying to come up with a pose in my brain. My big old brain. Flip the bird or... Wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the heck? This is my pure little Digimon stream. <laughs> JRC! Hi, JRC! What's up? Yeah, I'm drawing Digimon at the moment. D Digimon kind of came up. I think I was the one who brought up Digimon. And now here I am. Trying to draw Flame Draymon. But I'm not sure how to, like, pose its arms. I love Flame Draymon. I love Flame Draymon, and I hate moles. Love to hydrate. Thanks, Percy. Why are the most simplistic characters the hardest to draw? Because you notice the mistakes more. <laughs> That's why. Why is Lil Mo sad? Um, is he thinking about moles. <laughs> Probably. I the stream started. I was trying to come up, figure out like the color palette a bit better, like with the the beans and stuff. Um. I don't know if I like that pink. I think I like the lighter pink, but also I feel like it, I still feel like it blends in too much. It doesn't, it doesn't pop out enough. I'm not sure what color to do, but I'm working on it. And then I got sidetracked with bowls and then Digimon. And here we are, Terriermon. You would hate me if I was a mole? I wouldn't hate you. I don't hate moles. I just... I don't hate them. <laughs> I just don't... I don't like them particularly much. I like groundhogs more. <laughs> I said it, okay? I miss Ghost Game, but it hasn't aired since Toei got hacked. Is Ghost Game Digimon? I'm gonna be honest, I, I'm not like up to date with Digimon stuff. I just, I literally just remember it from like my childhood. I've heard that like Digimon is like, uh, like really good. <laughs> like it gets like, they, 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 they cover like much deeper and cooler topics than like Pokemon does. Like if, it's more like down to earth in a weird way. But then there's like, you know, rabbits with pants and guns for hands. Those claws are looking mighty shovel-like. Yeah, all right. It's like, that's good, right? <laughs> Digital monster you claim to love so much has mole hands as feet. What? Oh my God, wait, no. No, they're cooler though. They're they got flames, and they're not like shovels. They're like, look, there's some three D depth to them. They're not shovels. But they're like uh, whatever those are. <laughs> they're not shovels though. <laughs> Why moles? Because the boo-boo kept on bringing up moles. They're claws. Yeah, they're claws. Claws. The boo-boo kept on bringing up moles. And then I was just saying how I don't like the word mole. And then people were asking me if I like the animal mole. And I was like, I don't know. Animal moles are like, alright. Like, I don't particularly enjoy them. <laughs> you know, like, they're fine. 
And then I looked them up, and then I was like, I don't know, some of them are actually kind of ugly. A little terrifying, because, like, their eyes are so small. Like, in some pictures, it looks cute in, like, a certain kind of way. But I don't know. Overall, I don't, I don't love moles. Okay, I feel like this might not even make sense. I don't know if... Can Flame Draymond, like, move his claws, like, in a way that's, like, hands? Or are they just, like, stuck like that? Because I was going to have the other one, like, kind of holding on to this one. The front one. But I don't know if that makes sense. Ah, whatever. Oh, yeah, and th then Chris drew Mac-a-mole. Here, I'll show <laughs> it's it's actually amazing. I love it. <laughs> it's kind of adorable. Little Macamole. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lois, it's Macamole. Get the camera. <laughs> Macamole is kind of adorable. <laughs> You know what that is, Jacket? That's a new <laughs> profile picture. It kind of is. Yeah, I would, I would totally use that. I, I love the I love the Macamole. Macamole is cool, but real moles. Uh, look up real moles if you want to look at moles. They're just yeah. I don't know. The flame print armor looks extremely dumb. What? No, it's extremely cool. <laughs> it's cool. It might be a little overboard in some spots, like there, but like, that's just like 90s slash early 2000s for you. <laughs> it's cool. That's why he's Flame Draymond. He's got flames. <laughs> why does Flame Draymond wear a shirt that exposes his midriff? I don't know, because he's epic. Because he's hot. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he needs to he needs to breathe. He needs clothes to breathe. <laughs> Do not expose your midriff. Why? The Gatling gun man. Gatling gun. Gatling gun. A Gatling gun? Is that a Gatling gun? <laughs> I don't know how to draw these claws. <laughs> I don't know how to draw. I'm not a drawer. I'm a uh, dresser. Time to take a flame Draymond outfit for the model. Ooh. Ooh. That would actually be... Ooh. That'd be cool, but also hard. Oh, what? What, what would I do? Like, the, the crop top? <laughs> the crop top and, like, the flame pants? His face looks so sad. <laughs> I keep looking at it and just being like, damn. <laughs> sad. I've got to update the model with, like, these colors, too, once I decide on it. But when I do that, I feel like I want to have, like, an even more updated one that could, like, move its arms and stuff. And maybe even have, like, a slightly different body shape that matches this one more. I'm not a drawer. I'm a lover. Better treat a little Momo up or we're riding. No. No. Just look at that mouth. That mouth's happy. Look at the disembodied mouth. 
I'm only happy when I'm disembodied. You know what, even if it doesn't make much sense, I'm doing it. I'm doing it, I don't care. Flame Draymond is cool, okay? <laughs> he makes the mole claws work, somehow. Looks like it wants to eat Mo. <laughs> Looks like it wants to eat the disembodied arm. Looks like the arm pulled the mouth out of the chest. Oh, out of a chest. Oh, you're like, ba da ba da. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up. Whoop, wrong thing. I don't know, I like I like spiky characters with cool shapes. Cool shaped spiky characters are cool. Flame Dream on a wrestler? Uh no. He's a Digimon. <laughs> I don't know if Digimon wrestle, actually. And they fight. Which could involve wrestling. Flame Tremont has the starts of a cool design, but it went a little too hard and looped back around to not cool. What? What? No, he's cool. <laughs> he's cool. Okay. He's cool! <laughs> Please! Am I gonna play the new Kirby game on stream? Um, I think so. Probably. Yeah, like, I think I was planning on it. I don't know if I'd play it on Friday, because, uh, I'm not sure what my schedule is gonna be like with the, the gibbeted, the gibbeted job. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely want to play it. I'm going to be playing it, no matter what. I'm still deciding on if I want to stream it. What was that? Garce, yo! Yo, Garst, thanks so much for subscribing. Thanks for being a nutty buddy. I like your name. <laughs> Garst. Don't I made fan art? <gasps> you made fan art? Yo. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. 
Garce is a cutie. Do you know Garce? I stream it just as a chill time. Yeah, like, I love Kirby. And one thing I'm trying to do a bit more with the streams is like, as much as I like streams that feel like events or whatever, I don't want to make... I don't want every stream I do to have to feel like it's like a production of some sort. Like, oh, I gotta make sure I'm funny the whole time. Or like constantly talking. Um, so I don't know. Like, I'm getting better at that. Like, if it makes sense, I'll probably stream it. But I'm also not going to worry about, like, oh, if I stream, if I play it off stream also. I think I don't like how I drew this. This one part. better risk crackers oh my god thanks so much for subscribing thanks for being a nutty buddy yo thanks so much Darce is a cutie i'll vouch damn <laughs> i've been trying to learn that i feel like i need to be talking talking constantly i mean yeah i don't know it, it depends on the vibe you want like personally i i like chill vibes um Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to know what's too little and what's too much. Because there definitely are some people, and I, I'm somewhat included also, like, I'll, I'll sometimes tune into streams and if, like, it seems like nothing's happening, you know, like... I feel like there's gotta be something there for me. If I'm not getting, like, an ample amount of chill, then I would want whatever's talking, being talked about or happening to be, like, entertaining in some way you know or like i would like the music to be nice or something you know like I, I, you gotta have something so it's hard to know if your other things are enough <laughs> which is why it's like easy to overcompensate with the talking because it's like i don't know if those things are enough so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna keep talking and hope i'm funny i don't know I always enjoy art streams more when it's someone I already know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like I like I like when I know someone's art, I like tuning in and being like, oh, like how do they draw stuff? I'm kinda of drawing this in a very kind of a different way I've been drawing for a bit. Um Normally I draw with like lower opacity and I sketch it out a bit more. But I don't know. These like I kinda just went in. He's got a cute catsona. Catsonas are surprisingly rare. Are they actually? What's like the most popular one? Probably like dogs, right? Or like wolves? Or foxes? Well, to be honest, I don't even know. You're doing great? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Also, yeah, sorry if the stream's lagging. The internet is, like, kind of being awful today. I don't know why. Otters are hella common, too. Are they? I feel like they're not that much. I Maybe in our streamer circle. 
sort of. Uh, nitrogen oxide, hi. Jack, do you have any advice on burnout or arc blocks? Uh, I wish I had, like, good advice. Um, honestly, like, I think with burnout, it's important to do other things. Well, one, it's important to not, like, overwork yourself, like, recognize when you've been spending a lot of time doing a lot. <laughs> um, and I think with, um, also with burnout slash art block, I think it's also good to have like other things that you do that can also be creative or like enjoyable to you other than like whatever it is you're pursuing that's the main thing like i feel like i i had like art block for a while but that was because i was i was so like focused on trying to do like specific things. I was like, I'm gonna focus on my YouTube channel and my Twitch channel. I'm gonna focus on these things and I don't have enough time to do other things that I'm interested in, like music or whatever. And I, I didn't really give myself time to work on any of those things and I'm, I'm still trying to get better at that. Um, but I, I don't think you can really do that a lot because you will get burnt out if you're trying so hard to like only do one thing. Like for me, I, I'm I'm a creative person, but like I I find it hard to focus on just doing the same thing for so long. I'm not the best at that. I know some people are, like they find one thing they really love and they don't care and they'll do it forever. But like me, I don't know. I'm kind of more, I'm a little bit more all, all over the place. Which can be good and also can be bad. But I was kind of neglecting that part of me, and that made me burn out a lot. I was neglecting my other creative needs. Otters are extremely common streamers, which is weird. Why do otters stream? Well, I don't know. I don't know. First otter streamer I knew was Chris. I've kind of been in a creativity hole for a while. I want to make new stories, but they aren't chugging along like they usually do. Mm. I also think, like, living some life is good, too. Like, you can't really expect to have a lot of creativity if you're just, like, holed up in your room. Or, like, hold up wherever you do your creative work. Like, you, that just kind of sucks, because it's like, oh, if you want to be successful, you really have to do, you got to, like, you know, you got to be, like, in the game and, like, doing all this stuff and, like, on top of everything, blah, blah, blah. But it's also, like, it's hard to be creative in, like, a meaningful way if you're not experiencing things besides just doing art. So like maybe you need a, a break or you need to like go out and try something new which is scary and like oh my god like ah, i don't want to ah, ah, comfort zones blah like i'm there with you but uh, it, it definitely is true like getting out of your comfort zone is refreshing 
I, it will refresh you, like, your spirit and your mind, your, your soul. Try new things, yeah. Exactly. Egg. Which is why I'm trying to try new things. And I got a job. I give it a job. I'm probably I'm gonna stop talking about the job though, because I don't even know. <laughs> One, I don't even know if I'm gonna like be good at it, slash like it. And two, I I don't know if it's you know, like I, I could get fired. <laughs> you know. Uh Captain Ninetales, thanks for the follow. And the cat four six seven, yo. Thanks so much. Do I still make music? I haven't in like a while. I want to, but I don't know. I'm I'm kind of in like a weird thing where my my music making software FL Studio is on my laptop, but now I've been using my desktop, the new one I got, and I'm like. Okay, so I, I could transfer it over, but then I wouldn't be able to, like, have it portably, but then I'm not doing it when I'm away from my des desktop anyway. But also, I kind of wanted to try Ableton, but also Ableton's expensive. But I also have, like, a free version of Ableton, but do I want to use the free version of Ableton, or do I just want to buy it? Like, I'm, like, stuck in one of those things where it's, like... There's all these different little stupid options that I am don't want to make a decision on. So I'm like, what if I get Ableton and I don't like it as much? Why don't I just stick with FL Studio? But then it's like, but I, what if I... Well, what if I just want to do music on my laptop and then use my desktop for, like, just my art and stuff? <laughs> you know, like, it's... I'm, I'm kind of being a doofus. I'm kind of being a doofus. How are you? I'm good. I mean, I'm being a doofus, but... Good. I'm a good doofus. My favorite, Digimon, yeah, my favorite Digimon is Mirage uh, Gao Gamon. Gao Gamon? I don't know what that one looks like. I'm gonna look that up. This one's kind of cool. Oh yeah, he's like a... What is that? He's got like a wolf head? And he's like in armor? That is pretty cool. What kind of job is it? Testing food for rich people to see if it's poisonous? Professional speed pisser? I wish. I'm actually not that fast of a pisser. I'm kind of a slow pisser. Slow wazzer. But I do not waste my waz. I'm not a wasteful wazzer. Uh, the job is basically I'm taking pictures of antique instruments and then putting them online for sale. That's kind of it, but it's like, it's a good gig. <laughs> and it's part-time and it's very flexible, but I'm starting tomorrow for the first time. Definitely kind of nervous, because I'm like, uh, uh. Show it to us. Okay, I'll show it. Show the, the Digimon, Mirage, Mirage, uh, Gal, Galgamon, Mirage Galgamon. It's another picture. I don't know. I think it's like a wolf. I'm gonna be honest, I, yeah, I don't know the most about Digimon. I, every time I've watched Digimon, I've had, like, z almost next to no idea what was happening. <laughs> Mostly just because I was, like, really young, though. <laughs> that one looks silly, too. Well, they're, like, I mean, yeah, they're definitely way more over-designed than Pokemon, but that's kind of, like, the whole thing. You don't waste your was, or you keep it in jars? <laughs> Do I keep it in jars? 
Uh, no, I recycle. Flower. Silly. Thanks for the bits. I played Mirage Galgamon in the trading card game. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I've never played the trading card game. Only Digimon game I played was Digimon World 4 on the GameCube. Recycle makes it sound like you drink it. Please watch what you say. I said what I said. I said what I said. <laughs> and I'll say it again. Did you mind we do like a Beals above mod? We have not. Also, hi Cambrian. Beals above mon. What does Beals above mon look like? Oh, Beals above mon's like a dude. This guy's cool though. Alright, is, is he like a bird? Wait. This one? <laughs> He's just like a dude with like a bird mask and guns. Feels above mine. Whoa. And he's got a motorcycle. What? Sign. What are these designs? Have you not seen Digimon? Like Digimon, like they'll start out as little monsters and they'll literally just become like dudes or like large breasted women. Not all of them, though. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid character. It really does look like that. Fuels them on blast mode? Okay. Okay, okay. I won't look up too many more. Isn't this the same thing? This looks like the same thing. Oh, this is like this purple one? That's a DeviantArt picture. Huh. Is it just that? I don't know. I can't tell the difference. Right, doesn't this look like the same one? I wish I could. Feels them on blast mode. No, get, get big. I guess it's he's got a purple mask and a bigger gun. Oh, I guess he's just got a bigger gun. Oh god, he has a gun arm now. Okay. I like that there's a Digimon Masters wiki. <laughs> bigger gun. Is this a, yeah, that's a Digimon. They really like lean into like the monster kind of at certain parts, but like some of them are more like not even like it's ones that literally just look like angels, like Angelmon or Andromon. I don't know how it's said. Angelmon gets a gun arm as opposed to dual wielding guns like Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, well Shadow. <laughs> Shadow's cool, you know? I like Shadow the Hedgehog. Although that game, that game is like, so, I I played through the whole thing. Like I got all the endings and it was not worth it at all. Yo, what's up, Punk Bunny? I'm good. I'm drawing Digimon at the moment and people are, Freaking out at the designs and saying they're bad. But. But. I like. I like. Flame Draymond! Okay? 
I like Flame Draymond. He's cool. He's cool. Look at him. He's a cool ass guy. Imagine having one jaw. That's so cringe. One jaw. Who has one jaw? Who has one jaw? What? Wait, we all have one jaw. What am I? What? What do you mean? Wizardmon made me cry? Why would Wizardmon make you? What's Wizardmon? Hold on. Ugh, now I'm looking up more. What about Wizardmon? This is just a wizard, dude. Why would this make you cry? Why would this make you cry? It's just a little, it's literally just like a kid with a wizard hat. It's what happened to Wizardmon that made us cry? I had to be there? Oh, okay. The two genders are Flame Draymon and XVmon. I don't make the rules. Okay, what's XVmon? Oh yeah, XVmon is like... Oh, yeah. I like how they, like, turn into different things all the time. Like, different forms. But it's so hard to keep track of. So this is XVmon. This is definitely the... Yeah, this is the other gender. <laughs> I'm a fan of Flame Draymon, personally. That's my gender. I love them. Yeah, like I don't know. Like when I when I, I don't know Flame Draymond. I love Vmon, and then like when I saw Vmon digivolved into Flame Draymond, I was like, oh my god, oh my god. And I gotta look up normal Vmon. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, unpleasantness. You might, you might like the more, like the earlier forms, maybe. Like this is, this is Vmon. This is Flame Drama, like the first, like the more normal form, the, the standard one, I guess. Uh, do you like, do you like Vmon? Huh? How about Vmon? I like Vmon. Vmon's one of my favorites. Still kind of dumb. How? How is Vmon dumb? How? Do you like Pokemon? Vmon's a friend. Look at him. He's waving. And then he becomes Flame Draymon. Or that other one. Dumb hands. His hands are huge. Well, yeah, he's got big hands, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, he's, he's nice. He's a Digimon, okay? He's got big hands because they turn into like claws. Look at this. This doesn't even have Flame Draymon, but... Pale Draymon. Imperial Draymon. Imperial Draymon Fighter. Like, literally, these are all insane. Like, I don't even know. But Flame Draymon's the coolest. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Don't like that shade of blue? What? <laughs> You're so picky. You're so picky. I'm not having it. Okay, I think... I think this is, uh, yeah. Are you gonna go with Flame Draymond's base colors or am I gonna mix it up? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just I'll pick them out myself. Like I don't think I'll color pick them.
Okay, I don't know. It's just a sketch, so I think this looks fine. <laughs> this looks so funny. Him out of the way. Well, these little guys. What do you think about Terriermon? Unpleasantness. What about Terriermon? I feel like if you don't like Terriermon, like all hope is lost. Okay, you think that's kind of cute? Okay, 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 fine. Terriermon is the most. I'll say it is like probably the most Pokemon-ish one. I mean, out of like the ones we've looked at. Kill it? What? What? What about? Yeah. What? <laughs> what about Macamon? <laughs> Over here? Huh? I don't know anything about any of the silly creatures on screen except for you. Yeah, that's because none of these are Twitch streamers, unfortunately. That would be um cool though. <laughs> Macamon's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Since Macamon did you want to get pants like Gabumon does? Macamon just digivolves and gets like a even larger, even more stupid looking hat. <laughs> Macamon digivolve to Macamole. Yo, gun to the rat! Yo, what's up, Raiders? Hi! Thanks for the raid. Big butt raid. What? Big butt rat raid? Oh my god. Yo, what's up, Gunner? Hi, thanks so much for the... Thanks for the raid. Where are you streaming? Gunner raid. Unlike these fools, Lucario uses Twitter. Sims 4? Whoa. Is there a Sims 5 yet? Hasn't Sims 4 been out for like... Forever. <laughs> like, like forever, forever. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. <laughs> no Sims 5 yet. Yeah, just like a billion Sims 4 DLC. That's fun. I've never really played The Sims. I've just watched other people play it, and every time I watch, I'm like, this is funny. <laughs> The ones I played my Sims. What are your thoughts on my Sims? Do you like my Sims? Oh, I gotta stretch. Uh. My body. I liked my Sims as a young rattling. Yeah, like I feel like if I went back, I probably wouldn't like it. But I remember playing My Sims and being like, I love My Sims. <laughs> Played on the Wii. It's like, this is incredible. But I was always like freaked out by the Simlish. Right? Isn't that what it's called? Simlish? Where they go, Bleaky Shlorgy. Blaga Bloogie. Weeba Shlabo. I don't know. I, I never liked that growing up. I don't know why. I, I didn't like when my video game characters talked because I only played Nintendo and none of them ever talked except for like Mario Sunshine and I didn't like that. I was like, stop it. Stop talking. <laughs> stop it. Shneeba <laughs> Hore. So much is basically like speaking in tongues so I understand. Yeah, it's like bluegy blah blue. Such good simlish. Oh. I'm not a professional, but my mother was a sim, so I, I kind of, I, I picked up on some things. Oh, 
try to understand. I love, yeah, I, I like silent protagonists. I don't know. I like silent protagonists because I do a lot of um, self insertion sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time, but like certain games. Like, I, I, I did that a lot in Zelda growing up. Like, I always loved putting my name in, like, pretending it was me. Or whatever. And then, you know. Not that them talking would ruin that, but it would, it would break the immersion a little bit, I think. How dare I say a bad thing about Super Mario Sunshine? Look, Super Mario Sunshine is fun, but... Fuck Super Mario Sunshine. No. <laughs> I, I think it's cool. It's a, When I replayed it, I, I had a lot more fun than I did as a kid. As a kid, I got so frustrated with that game. It's still the most frustrating Mario, like, 3D Mario game, but, like, now, playing it now, I was, like, I played it when 3D All-Stars came out, and I, I had more fun. There was only, like, a few levels I was, like, this sucks. Well, like, when you're older and you know how to, like, use the movement system better and stuff, it, it is really fun. Nightmare about Sims when you're five? What? The nightmare is about me getting eaten by zombies in my white suburban house. And you got that from The Sims. See, The Sims contributes things to society. <laughs> like, like nightmares for children. And Simlish. I like going the OC route, like in my Final Fantasy. Is that what FFTA? Save Millie the Vieira. White Mage became a top tier assassin. Wow. I like doing that in like a Tomodachi life. Tomodachi life, I had. I had not even that many OCs. I kind of just put like me and my siblings in it, which was a bad idea, which was a very bad idea. Because this didn't happen on my save. I didn't. This did not happen on my save, but on like my little brother's save. Like. Maybe this was on my save. Like two of my siblings got married and had like a child, and I was like, oh my god, this is awful. Like why don't why didn't they have that in Tomodachi Life where you could where you could say like oh no these these are related characters this cannot happen like <laughs> this should not be allowed like why what? I thought that that would just be a thing <laughs> bad I know what I draw you did nothing nothing. nothing. Literally nothing. Uh, Pone Gwen six six five. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, Tomodachi Life in Bread Edition. Uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I put in like, I put in like, uh, also like a lot of like cartoon characters and stuff. Like video game characters. I think I had Mario and Luigi in there. I had like a bunch of Adventure Time characters. I don't know, there was a lot. Probably had Link in there also. Nintendo was a family-friendly series. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit too friendly, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not... uh, ew. <laughs> that might have been the grossest joke I've ever made. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw my cousin create a negligent home for two children on purpose. What in Sims? 
Oh yeah, like some people who play Sims, they go like the absolute like sociopath route and they just like actively like just ruin the lives of their Sims. It's kind of hilarious. blue. Yeah, that's a pretty good blue. Seems tell me what's behind the pixelated area. Oh god. Sims tell me it's funny when people piss themselves. Do people do that in Sims? Can that happen? Why would that be able to happen? Do you have to tell your Sim to go to the bathroom? Like, or do you just like, did you like get rid of your Sim's toilet? Go Fire Dragon 4, hi. Welcome to the stream. Yes. <laughs> Why is the jack on the right side? I don't know. I don't know. Mo's looking all... Well... <laughs> I don't know. That's just the expression that went, popped into my head when I drew that. I don't know. It's a living. I sim wet himself once. He didn't make it to the toilet. How? They just don't get there in time? What? That's so... <laughs> how long were... How long were they waiting to, like, to take a waz? But they couldn't get there in time, like... So... <laughs> it's fucked. Poor Sims. I know so much about the Sims lore. Um... Not off the top of my head, but I literally, when I was... If you like started talking to me about Sims lore, I would be like, oh yeah, yeah, that sounds very familiar. Because uh, I had an internship at Frederator in New York. Uh, not any of their cartoon studios or anything, but it was their like YouTube kind of branch, whatever, back when that was like a thing. And basically my job was I was like a fact checker. I would, like, help with, like, video production and stuff, but a lot of what I just did, like, with busy work kind of stuff, I would just check facts. And I had to check, I had to fact check an entire, like, Sims lore, like, video. I had to fact check, like, three Sims lore videos about, like, the history of, like, all the Sims, uh, villagers or, like, city members and stuff. So, like, I, I, I had to read so much Sims history. About, like the aliens and there's like aliens and like the, the, the dude who founded there's like so much i don't even remember because it was so much and i was so surprised i was like why is there so much like sim sim lore why why are there so much it's, it's crazy alien yeah there's like an aliens family. What happened to the newbies? Do you know the entire family tree of the goths? Uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the goths. See, I know it off the top of my head, but like, that's what I'm saying. I, I would, if you started like telling me, I'd be like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm not lying. I didn't memorize it, but like I read through it all and I fact checked a bunch of things to make sure they were right. So I, I had to watch a lot of sim note lore and knowledge, but I, I had to do it all in like, in a kind of short period of time. So I don't know how much of it sank in, but being honest. What's the most obscure Sims fact you remember? Oh okay, yeah, the land grabs. Yeah, the land grabs, they like, weren't they like the, the founders or something? Uh, there was the, 
Isn't there like one sim who... Isn't there like one like time traveling sim who is like also his own grandfather or something? Like is there's like a time traveling sim. I think. Or maybe that's something else and I'm mixing that up with that. But I know there's an alien sim. There's this one sim family where like the husband was an alien and like the kids are like half alien and stuff. I think it was, I don't know, it was crazy. The Sims lore is like crazy and like they, it spans across like all the games. Like you'll see like, oh, what's what's new with the, the whatever family in Sims 3 compared to Sims 2 and stuff like that. And then it's like Sims 3 is like, or, or Sims 4 is in like an alternate timeline from the other Sims games or something like, it's kind of crazy. Isn't that what happened to Fry from Futurama? Is it? I don't know. Now I gotta stretch again. Ugh. Yo, what's up, a guy? Sims lore is bonkers. It is. That's like the main draw I got from it, that there's so much more to Sims lore than I would have ever imagined, and that it's all pretty bonkers and crazy. Speak of this again. We depend on you. Hi. Uh, yo, <laughs> yo, a guy. Is your shirt the Togepi egg pattern? It is. It's been this way since I played Pokemon Legends Arceus, but I I never changed it back. <laughs> uh, Malikian, thanks for the follow. Okay, got like the base colors down. I did not expect to be spending so much time on these. <laughs> well, whatever. Whatever. I think that's the right kind of green. Yeah, it's kind of like a, kind of like a pea green, like army green. <laughs> Tragic events in history, Sonic's death. While jumping out of a plane, he forgot his parachute and fucking died! <laughs> that video is amazing. I love uh, Zark Flappy Sheep, the one who made that. His stuff's really great. They look good. Thanks, Meowie. You know, un unpleasantness incarnate doesn't think so. Unpleasantness, unpleasantness thinks Digimon are ugly and stupid. Just like me. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. What was the last song that I was playing? Uh, oh gosh, I kind of just forgot. <laughs> the one that was Sad Machine or the one after that? <laughs> Kind of just like exited my mind as soon as you asked. I'm sorry. Wait. Oh, what's just playing? 
I don't even know. <laughs> I kind of don't even remember. The song that was before Sad Machine? Oh gosh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if I could go back on the music player. Oh, I can. Oh. Sad Machine. Oh, before that was Seafoam Green by Nell Word. This one. If you want an exclamation point song, get the link. Whatever. This is a good song. I'm graduating from high school in like a month and I gotta deal with big boy grown up shit now. I don't wanna do that. I wanna play Mario games on my Nintendo DSi. <laughs> yeah, that's like everyone. Okay. I. I don't like to get old but that's what happens where is that being an adult is annoying it is it's so you're just like hey you want more responsibility and i'm like no and it's like here you go here it is here's the here's more responsibility i'm like ah cool do you want to feel complete and total uh, liability for the things you say and do. <laughs> Here you go. Now you're old enough to realize not to be stupid, hopefully. And if you are, it's all your fault. So much pressure. There's so much pressure. Discretionary income is pretty. Yeah, that's true. Getting your own income, like obviously, there's perks. There's perks to being an old fuddy duddy, suddy duddy. An old suddy duddy, such as myself. It's got some perks. I mean, honestly, well, it's not completely true, but when you're older, you can at least like try to make your life more of your own. You know, like that's like the hope, at least for a lot of people. It's like, oh, well, now I'm on my own. I can kind of create the space I want to be in. You know, like you don't have to be friends with people who are jerks because you can just leave if, well, if you're able to, that's also the thing. You need money. You need money to be able to, but at least when you're an adult, you can get money sometimes. <laughs> I wouldn't go back to high school for a million dollars unless it was with my current knowledge and financial resources. But with your current knowledge, it'd be like, you'd be like, oh God, I'm in high school. <laughs> Oy. Yeah, high school is just like an awkward time. Everything's an awkward time. You learn. You live and learn. Live and learn. I 
trying to see how you create your art here. I don't always have like a one set way of doing it. Like, I don't always go about doing the coloring this way. But I don't know. Something came over me. I've been trying this this way out lately. Some people like do like more of like a base color and then they'll like add shading and stuff on top of it. More. But I kinda just use it because I like filling in the colors and knowing that it's it's gonna stay within my initial lines. Or whatever. I kinda I feel like it kinda makes it everything look a bit more cohesive in a way. Like, because I, I kind of like when, like, the color bleeds outside of the lines a bit in certain spots. It's easier to make that look nicer if you just start with one base color, I think. It flows a bit better. More so the sketches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sketching is just kind of like throwing shapes down and putting them in spots and just being like, does that look good? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh my god, it's the greatest song ever. <laughs> Turning it up. I'd go back to high school for the hell of it. Didn't even like it, but you're saying so much less response. Yeah, less responsibility, I guess. Oh. And time and you put you to the test. When a man in his world, more is less. I gotta get like. Gotta memorize the the lines of the song. In this world, life's an open book. This world, lovely blue. Beats the rest. Okay, Flame Dream Mind's a bit more complicated, so I'm actually gonna look. Okay, yeah, so he's mostly blue, besides like his. Their belly and their mouth. Okay. Got a real rough head. That's what it was. I've been to heard the news. Pulling strings. Uh, Cattily Cat, thanks for the follow. Nice crack there, yeah. <laughs> my voice is tired from the weekend. I was with my friends, like, the whole time. The break, the mold. In this world. Strong in this world. Life's an open book in this world. The compromise does not exist in this world. The blue, blue, blah. Digimon! Digimon! This is some Digimon love on Twitch. It was very, like, it was very out of nowhere, Pomok. I'ma say it. Like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I just brought up Agumon, and then I started talking about Digimon I like, and now I'm drawing Digimon. Glad to see another another Digimon enjoyer. To be honest, I don't know that much about Digimon. I just remember the ones that I liked a lot from when I was younger. And then his clothes are all red, but with like some yellow and stuff. Okay. This is 
the main theme of Sonic, like, actually? Uh, yeah, it's the theme of Sonic from Sonic 06. <laughs> Sonic, the characters used to have like their own themes, like new themes, like for every game. Or not every game, but like the big games. Like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. This one. <laughs> I don't know, how, how could you, how could you not think Flame Dream, Dream on is cool? It's so cool. What if you made a version of yourself where he has a post-apocalyptic getup? Like Mad Max? Mad Macamo? You know, 2000 was a pretty good movie for my nine-year-old self. I remember the one where they played tub thumping. <laughs> was that Digimon 2000? What's the one where they played tub thumping in the beginning? You know, it was like, I get knocked out, but I get up again. And then... That's the one I watched growing up. That was like the Digimon movie that I would always say. I know they had bare naked ladies, but I don't remember the other one. Hmm. Hmm. Was Digimon 2000 the one with like the virus that was like infecting the internet and stuff? Because that that's that one. Amazing drama is they're coming along great. Oh thanks. <laughs> Yeah, the virus did you want? That's the one that starts with tub thumping. Maybe I'm calling it the wrong name. I'm pretty sure it's tub thumping. It's Chubbawamba. <laughs> they censored Wendigo Mon's mental breakdown in the U.S. with Smash Mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is not the song. Oh, Stream Elements is messed up. This is uh, Heart Home City. Like a remastered version. Yo, do chomp. I do chomp. What? Yeah. Sometimes Stream Elements like takes the title from another song and puts it over the, the song that's actually playing when you like request it. It's weird. <laughs> he drinks a whiskey drink. He drinks a vodka drink. He drinks his large drink. He drinks sad drink. <laughs> Chubba wubba. Chubba da bubba. What's up, you chomp? Chomped anyone lately? What about your father? Did you, did you chomp him? Like you did me? I'm just trying to wrap my head brain around Live 2D. Oh. Have you, um... Have you... Have you ever 
looked at the tutorials that I link on here. Is that what you're, are you looking at those? You do exclamation point model. Because those, those are a lot more helpful than like the official live 2D tutorials. In my opinion. Yeah, thanks Implosionist. Yo, thanks for the pet icy. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Tried the official ones and was like, what? Oh, check your, yeah, check check those ones out. Those ones are a lot better. The official ones kind of suck. They're like, they'll like talk about things and then like be like, and then you do this, but then like they don't, they don't show you how or explain like what's happening. And just like, what? But how? Why? Okay. I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish coloring Flame Draymond, and then I will. Uh, then I gotta eat some dinner. <laughs> Hot pocket is not dinner. As much as I would like it to be. Yeah, just click this button and it's like in Japanese. Also like they're, I don't know. So with certain tutorials, like their examples or like their characters might look like nothing like the character you're trying to create or whatever. Like it might look nothing like the style you want. Like it might be more anime or like whatever. And that kind of makes it hard. if I like this red combo. <laughs> now that I've done it all, I'm like, I don't know if I like these colors together. <laughs> I need more white. people's heterosexuality cracked when they saw that Digimon. <laughs> I don't know what this one. <laughs> With the crop top. What does it look like in grayscale? I don't know. Yeah, I guess I could check that out. Yeah, it is a little. That's a little samey. I can do. I could like up the contrast, maybe. Whoa, that kind of hurts my eyes. Also hurts my eyes. I love Digimon and your drawings are great. Oh, thanks so much, Noosh. 
Digimon. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Hmm. What does it look like before? I think I like this a little bit better. It's definitely really bright. Maybe the blue bod paler? Hmm. Hmm. Baba Booey. Baba Booey! Oh my god, Doki, thanks so much for the resub for nine months. Our baby is born. Our baby is born. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. You're the bit. No, you're not the baby. Get out of here. <laughs> you're not the baby. No. <laughs> you're not the baby. Whoa. Whole ass baby. Whole ass baby. <laughs> I like that. Like, just kind of lower the saturation a bit? Maybe? I don't know. My god, Hardy! Thanks for the gift sub! Yo, the hoodie katsu! Thank you, Hardy. Thank you for being a nutty buddy. Doki, thanks for being a nutty buddy. Thank you. Give oh my god. Magic had a blush, use wine. My god. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, Duchamp, thanks for the 380 bits! <laughs> Holy cow, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm a swine. Swine! I enjoy a nice beverage of wine. Does it go? It's like that. Huh? Oh my god! Holy shit! Yo! Padayafu! Thanks for the five... Five gift subs! Thank you so much! Yo, thanks for being a nutty booty! <laughs> and if Noxie with the- Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Yo! Thank you so much! I, wow, thank, thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Oop. I don't know what else to say, but <laughs> thank you. I, I don't know. I want to, Golly. Uh, I wish I knew what my schedule would be like for the week. Cause I, I want to be like, oh yeah, I'll be back playing tunic on Wednesday or like on Thursday like like but I, I don't know right now I probably won't know until then it tomorrow but um yeah <laughs> I will be back I'll be back I'll be back do I like that yellow hmm they made an F in the chat. Wait, out of the <laughs> out of the oh yeah woos. Wait, they did. <laughs> F. F. <laughs> oh my god. But what the anonymous cheer? Thanks for the hundred. Thank you for the hundred bits. Whoever you are, thank you. <laughs> Stop blushing like that. Stop it now. Oh 
Okay. All right, I'll stop. I'm trying. Ugh, ugh. Is that better? <laughs> Doki, thanks. 500. Thanks for the 500 bits. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks a million. No, keep blushing. You adorable, not you. Holy shit. What? No. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, I don't know, Doki. Noxia just asked me to start blushing again, so. I do what the most recent person has told me to do to do. That's how I live my life. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much. Holy cannoli. Holy cannoli. Oh my god. Oh my god. Zabubu, you did not have to do that. None of you guys had to do that. Thank you so much. 420? Also, 420, was that on purpose? Was that... <laughs> A poggin. 420. Oh my god. Nice. Oh, and there's like a... Uh... Flame Dream Mod's so cool. <laughs> uh... Of course it was. Of course, of course. I should not have judged. I should not have uh, questioned. What the Pokemon drawing? Thanks, Lemony Cobra. <laughs> yeah, this is Flame Draymond. darker but that look good don't say anything about this uh um uh uh, completely unrelated note, but Unpleasantness Incarnate is very cool. I don't know why I'm saying that, but like, I just, I felt the need. Kind of out of nowhere. You guys understand. It happens. It happens sometimes. Spoiled. I am getting spoiled. Oh no, did the pet. Did the pet hour? Uh. Wait. Oh no! Hold on. I gotta turn back on the orange board. That's my window, it's not yours. <laughs> Hopefully it's working. Gomamon propaganda. What? Gomamon propaganda? Percy, yo, thanks for the 300 bits. Wait, I forgot who's Gomamon. Is that the pants one? Here, I'll, I'll pet myself for you, Kentucky Duck. I hope it works. Okay, it works. Yeah, the armbar kind of like walked out. I don't know why. But yo, thanks so much, Percy. Yeah, don't spend your food money. I'm not gonna badge if I do this, so I'm gonna do it. Nobody can stop me except myself, and I have no self-control. Uh, ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, am I making flame game on where? No, I'm not. <laughs> Doki, what the hell? Oh my God, stop it! <laughs> Everyone, stop. 
Stop. Just stop. Stop giving me. Stop giving me money. I have no self control. No. Oh my. What the hell? What? A thousand bits? A thousand? Uh, what? Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Noxia. And do job. Holy shit, what? You all need to stop. <laughs> what the hell? What the fuck? Why are you guys no? <laughs> stop it. Buy food and eat it and tell me how good it is and then I'll feel more satisfied. I'll be like, oh, yes, they're alive. <laughs> thank you. Oh my god, thank you so much. No you. No me? What? Percy? What, me buy, me buy, I'll buy pizza? I love pizza. I will buy pizza. My God! Thank you, Percy. Thank you so much. Making me suffer by wealth. Yeah, money is a curse. Money is a curse. Uh, but no, I'm not giving him pants. It's just a side view, you know. You can't really see his his crotch as much. <laughs> I did not intend to, to hide it. It's just that that's just that's just the pose that kind of happened when I started drawing. So I, I apologize if if, <laughs> if I ruin the character. Do people actually call call Flame Draymond Flame Game On? <laughs> Is that actually do people actually say that? Kind of looks like baggy pants. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, like leg, the leg shells. I hope. I hope so too. Yo, Olive. Hey, Olive. Scroll. I keep forgetting. I keep looking at Draymond and then like going back and then forgetting what I just looked at and then be like, oh wait, I gotta add this stuff. I want to use the hydrate reward, but this seems like an easier option. I'm actually running low on water, but I'm almost. I'm almost done with this, so I'm good. I need medicine. I look kind of sick. Oh, before. <laughs> Dehydrate, redeem when? Oh. I just like. What? What do I? What would I even do for that? Just like. Shake a bunch of salt in my mouth. Oh, 
Yeah. Would I like? It? Yeah. <laughs> I look up, open my mouth, and then shake a bunch of salt in it. But yo, level 4 hype train at like this late in a stream. Thank you so much for the, the hype. For the hype. <laughs> I'd be hyped either way, so thank you. We got, what do we got? Oh, we got a little wavy bird thing. A wavy bird guy. Salted nut. Scam train! Scam train! Scam train! I want the fox thing, the corgi that Hypnoxia has. Is that also a level four one? I don't like keeping spare bits in my pockets. Oh my god, what unpleasantness. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the hundred bits. That's that's a whole ass dollar. You know what you could buy with a whole ass dollar? I'm actually not sure. I think you could get a bunch of stuff at McDonald's. McDongle. McDude. So next time I'm at McDonald's, I'll think of you. I don't go that often, though. <laughs> Oops, wrong layer. Pizza? There are some, yeah, there, there's some dollar pizza places in the city. I had the dollar pizza. Uh like in the fall and it was um uh, it wasn't bad i mean for a dollar pizza i was like yeah that's that's like dollar pizza and it's better it's better than like cafeteria pizza from when i was in school so i don't know i wish i was rich enough to pay you to stream every day jack oh uh, oh uh, no save 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 your money you couldn't pay me you could not pay me enough to make me feel okay with that <laughs> wait well that doesn't make sense don't pay me <laughs> but thank you I, pre I appreciate the the sentiment you already gave me so much all all i do is poop my pants every day bum, 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 bum. What? No, like metaphorically, you know? Metaphorically. <laughs> Haven't had Baja Blast yet. Oh, I, I did have Baja Blast. I tried it. I tried it at, um... My friend got it. I didn't get it, though. I went to... I went to Taco Bell, and I didn't get Baja Blast because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I got the Fruit Punch because I'd had the McDonald's Fruit Punch, and the McDonald's Fruit Punch is, like, actually amazing. Um, it's very refreshing. And I kind of thought that the, the Taco Bell Fruit Punch would be the same, but it was not. The Taco Bell Fruit Punch, kind of awful. So I didn't get the Baja Blast, but I tried, like, a sip of my friends, and I was like, wow, I should have gotten, gotten the Baja Blast. It was really good. 
I don't even like soda. Oh god. <laughs> now that's a quote. Oops. So I guess I haven't gotten it. I've tried it. Do I know Yokai Watch? I do know Yokai Watch. I've never played it, but I've heard good things. Flame Draymond is so cool. Uh, There's a Baja Blast Hard Seltzer? What? That sounds dangerous. That actually sounds like... That sounds like it would be like... A hazard. <laughs> hazard to have in the household. Like, for multiple reasons. One, because it'd be like, oh, this is so delicious. I'm going to drink more. And two, because it's so sweet. I feel like, I don't know. What if a child were to drink it? What if a child drank it and died immediately? <laughs> Excellent music choice. Oh, thanks. Guppy the fourth. Guppy the fourth. What the hell? Who's Guppy the third? Who's Guppy the second? Is there a Guppy the fifth? going to McDoinkles to get blue power. Now I want... See what you've done. Now I want fast food, and that's not good. <laughs> it's not good to want fast food. Because fast food is, um, not the greatest for you. Unfortunately. It's probably aimed towards children. The hard seltzer. <laughs> Yo! What's up, Walf? Jacka, 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 jacka. Walf, 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 walf. Walf, 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 God. Wow, thanks so much for the resub for 11 freaking months. 11 months in heaven. Yo, thanks so much. Thanks for being a nutty buddy. that looks good. It might be overdoing it. Like, that one part might be way too shaded now compared to everything else, because I don't think I'm going to shade everything. Whatever. Almost a year. Ugh. Ugh. And look at us now. I don't know. It's kind of the same. <laughs> it's kind of the same. Just... The vibes, the vibes have increased, I think. I hope. 
Golly! I'm not gonna do their kind of flames. So I'm not good at that. I'm gonna do I'm doing it my way. This really looks kind of Easter eggy, though. Oh, whatever. Easter egg mole feet. No! Oh. No, it's not a mole. It's not a mole! It's not a mole. It's a. a not a mole. Pokemon or Digimon? Um. Huh. I uh, I don't know enough about Digimon to actually make like a good choice, I think. Like for me, Digimon is really just like I just remember it and I like the designs of some of them. <laughs> Probably Pokemon because I like the games more, but even then like Pokemon Digimon definitely has better stories. Pokemon kind of drops the ball often. Digimon lore is dark. Yeah, like I know Digimon like Digimon gets like depressing. And like on purpose. <laughs> Which is cool, like I like that. I'm all for depressing. Mario Galaxy OST makes me feel so many emotions, especially makes me cry due to nostalgia. I love the Mario Galaxy OST. Yeah. Old, older video game songs will do that to me.
I don't know. It's been a while since I've like cried over video game music. But I definitely get goosebumps from some of them. Which is always pretty fun. I love when music gives you goosebumps. That's like how you that's how you know it's like amazing. Into this before. I cry every day at work from video game music. I have to work in a private office because of it. Oh no! <laughs> uh, what's your favorite, like, um. What's your favorite, uh. You have, like, a favorite video game? OC? You chomp? That's the whole song. No, I just stopped the song short, Lazum Sauce, because I, I listened to it before on the stream. I was better at <laughs> I wish I was better at shading. Super Mario 3D World has the largest range that gets me going. Oh yeah, the big jazz bands? Yeah. Sonic Mania? Ooh. Deltarune? Ooh. All really good. Hey, Hakka Good Draws, D. Yo! Kipper Snacks, hi! Thanks so much for the resub! Thanks! Thanks for being nutty buddy. Yeah, uh, somehow I started drawing Digimon. Here we are. <laughs> game song hits your nostalgia bone the hardest uh either like the the star festival song from mario galaxy or like undertale <laughs> Mario 64 like ending song that one always gets me I'm like uh uh that one just makes me think about like childhood and like growing up 
and everything. I'm just like, God. Yeah. Why? Do I need that little bit of shading under, like, the crotch? I don't know. I don't know about that. Banjo Kazooie music. Oh yeah. I I don't know. I didn't really get to play Banjo Kazooie growing up. I think I rented it from like Blockbuster once, or like Banjo Tooie or something. But like. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't. I didn't get far at all. The first Banjo Kazooie game I actually like played played was like Nuts and Bolts, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, you know how that game is. But like, I remembered it from when I was younger. I just never had the game. Head jack in the corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how the stream started. I was working on the the colors and uh, I was like gonna, trying to figure out what color to make the beans. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do this pink. I think I want to play around with it more. But then I got distracted, started talking about Digimon and moles. And uh, yeah, <laughs> here we are now. Yo, hi Rocco. Isn't Terumon missing the marks on his ears? Is he? Oh, I didn't even notice those. Yeah. Oh, and he's got little claws. I didn't notice that either. What are the marks? Are they just like donuts? Or not donuts, like hot dogs? They look like. Uh, fish guns one two three. Thanks for the follow. What animal are you? Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Uh, Jackie Blaze, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Gargamon was a favorite. Yeah, with the arm guns, yeah. It was so cool. It 
Do I still need to pay my taxes from the Animal Crossing video? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh... I think that looks fine. Well, alright, we're gonna Digimon and... <laughs> Go, I could even go a little bit. I could go harder. We could go harder. Please check this art's amazing. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, do I post the art I make on streams on Discord? Uh, yeah. I mean, I might even just... I probably will just put these on Twitter also. And then I'll post that in the Discord. color outside the lines no never i like when the lines i like when the color goes outside the lines a bit in certain in certain art certain pieces oh mine <laughs> i'm starting the discord i do i do i've done that <laughs> Pretty much every time I post something to Twitter, it's also on the... I put it in the Discord. Like, art, I mean. erase the color outside the line art? No. I will not. <laughs> not on my... I don't know. Not ever. <laughs> not on my integrity as a artist. How does it feel to work room ads? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's <laughs> it's it's a thing I do. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's it's more just like I help Mads out with certain things. Like I I knew Mads before. Uh, like we were YouTube friends and like we had met in person before. Like if like two years, two years before he ever asked me to like help him out on videos. 
So I don't know. I, I, I just viewed it as like helping out my friend. And now I just do it pretty regularly. So, I don't know. Hydrate. Glug glug. And what channel I want to see it? Um, I just put it in the art channel, but that's like where everyone's art is. I don't have like a specific channel full of my art in particular, if that's what you're asking for. Um, I don't know. I, I never, I've never done that. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I, I don't like putting myself like above people. If I, you know, like if you want to see my art, uh, you could go on, you could go on my Twitter, just look through my media, or even my Instagram, there's a bunch of my art. How do I feel about the odd ones out? I don't know, I think James is cool. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Where's the Jack of Worship channel on Discord? I need somewhere to pray. Somewhere to make my prayers. Let's pray to me. <laughs> okay, I think this looks good. Uh, Ezra Secure, Ezra Secker, so I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Pray to nut. <laughs> Pray to nut. God, please, please let me nut. Please. Did I see the Moist Critical and James Lee collab? No, is that recent? I hear the song a lot, but I forget where it's from. It's, uh, from Undertale. Oh, thanks, Random Artist. is black. Bye guys, love the stream. Have a good night. Good night, Knoosh. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you sleep like a pancake. I love pancakes. just elevated the whole thing <laughs> that little bit of extra like eye color ooh ooh damn ooh that's what it needed that was the one little thing <laughs> it's a little bit of eye yeah the sexy eye pop oh yeah oh yeah yeah <laughs> Undertale is one of my favorite games, and I feel like I should be embarrassed by that somehow. Nah. Why? <laughs> Just because a lot of people like it, or the fandom used to be crazy, or whatever? I don't know. I I love Undertale. Like, if, if anyone's like, you like Undertale? I'd be like, yeah, it's an amazing game. Like, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really good. It made me feel things. It gives me goosebumps. It's great. <laughs> I like the embarrassed Jack in the corner. Yeah. Little Mechamo. 
Looking all like, why did I draw all these Digimon? <laughs> oh, check this out. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you what, what Chris made also. Uh, cause I was talking about how much I, I don't like moles. And then Chris drew this. <laughs> Mac a mole. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Mac a mole. <laughs> Back a moly. It's yeah, it's so funny. I love it. It's so cute. Like Chris made me like moles in this one image. Oh my god, Punk Jacks! Yo! Oh my god! Ah! Punk Jacks! Thanks so much for the thanks for the raid. How's it going? What are you streaming? Hope you had a nice stream. What am I looking at? <laughs> ma 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 ma. Now my mouth. Your YouTuber's so cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Want to commission you to draw Jack a Fox? Ooh. Yeah, literally just like put like the the nut hat on like any animal, and it like instantly transforms it into something uh cooler. <laughs> Sorta. Oh, convince me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, probably someday. Maybe someday. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much, Punk Jacks. Uh, how was your stream? Oh, you were also drawing. Oh, I just saw that. Oh, Pog. Pog. Talk about hey now, hey now. Is that hey now, hey now? This is what dreams are made of. <laughs> you probably weren't talking about that. <laughs> it's like Bowser, but infinitely better. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yo! Okay, I don't know. Maybe I'll draw a little mac -a -mole. Really quick. Because I, I do have to, like, I have to go to bed at a reasonable hour tonight. And I also need to shower. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be based off of Chris's rendition. The only mole I ever loved. All the moles I've ever loved. <laughs> uh, throwback cat and HQ bunny. Thanks for the follows. Have we seen the new Digimon trading card game? The art on those cards is so good. I haven't. To be honest, I'm not really like, uh, I've never really gotten into trading cards. I'll tell you the story of why I fell out of trading cards as a young whippersnapper. And the, the reason behind it is um, kind of gross. So if you're like, if you don't like hearing slightly kind of gross things, a uh, little warning. A little warning for me but as a young child i collected many a pokemon card and me and my brother we had this big basket and we just kind of threw them all in there and we just had this big basket full of pokemon cards it's like pokemon cards Yu-Gi-Oh cards probably some baseball cards although i didn't collect those um basically a butt ton of cards in a basket and had like all of our all of them there were there were many good cards it was great basically one night i got very sick i had to throw up it was next to my bed and i leaned over and i i puked all over all of the cards 
I don't know how old I was. I think I was probably like eight or something, something like that. And uh, yeah, I just I destroyed them all. I ruined them. It was all my fault. <laughs> I I just didn't want to get up and go to the garbage or go to like the the bathroom. And that's how I. That's how I chose to solve it. <laughs> I think I like subconsciously knew that it was into the basket of cards, but I didn't acknowledge the consequences. I was like, oh, there's a basket right next to my bed. And I just went, Bleh. and I destroyed them all. And like after that, like my older brother was crushed. He didn't collect them anymore. I might have been responsible for making my older brother stop playing like Pokemon and stuff. Because he stopped playing. He's like, I don't care about it anymore. It was probably because of that. It's probably because I destroyed all his cards and then he became way more into sports. <laughs> I don't even know if moles have tails, but Chris gave Macamole a tail, so I'll do that. Do moles have tails? You draw a mole, give me a thumbs up. No, it's bad. Hamster tails. Ooh. Tiny little little tiny rat tails, like how you drew it. Okay. <laughs> Draw with the OK symbol. <laughs> okay, that that actually might be better. Okay, symbol? I kind of forget. Is that the or or do the fingers go out? Oh, like that? Oh yeah, yeah. So I gotta like angle it the other way. I guess I gotta turn the hand around. Thanos snap. <laughs> About the Thanos snap. Do I have to turn the hand around? Right now it looks like he's just being Italian, like We're playing the world's tiniest violin. Got a Susan Molcademia. Good luck with the little fella. Good night, Duchamp. Thanks for popping by. Hope you have a nice snooze. The fingers have to be apart. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hold on. Okay, symbol. Oh yeah, they yeah, they typically are apart, actually. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of like cartoony. Whoop. Arm shenanigans. <laughs> redeeming moles <laughs> moles redeemed kind of There we go. <laughs> I think that works. I don't know. Ah, ah. Thank you and out. Thanks, Skipper. What do I use to animate? Uh, I use Toon Boom. Toon Boom Harmony. Although, to be honest, you could kind of use whatever animation program to animate. Like... I started I started making animations in like Flipnote Studio. This seems to be up a little bit more. I think. I'm a Toon Boomer? No! No, I am. Looks like someone I'd want to share a soda with. Pog. Glad to hear it. And then moles just got like little tiny like mole feet. They got like Kirby feet. <laughs> What a night of drawing. The arm looks okay. I'll fix that. Okay, 
that looks better. <laughs> you got no grip when all your fingers are claws. Yeah, their fingers are just like huge claw things. Whoa. There you Properly, please. <laughs> I like Jackamole, Macamole, Macamole, Guacamole. Yeah, I can't, I can't believe after my whole mole, mole rant earlier, now I'm drawing, I'm drawing this. I can't believe, I can't believe it's come to this. You know what, this just proves how much, how much I'll do anything for approval. <laughs> do anything. I'll become what I, what I claim to hate most. A mole. <laughs> Need to try animating? Animating is, um, it's fun, but it's, it's so tedious. Oh my god. Uh, uh, uh. You don't like moles? Uh, I don't know. Uh, real moles and mole aesthetics, like, they don't do it for me. I, I like this kind of mole. I like this, I don't know, this, this kind of mole made me like moles a little bit more. <laughs> but like, <laughs> But I was just saying, like, real moles kind of freak me out. Like, you could barely see their eyes. They, they're just like digging through the dirt and they like eat worms and stuff. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Something about those worms. I mean, those moles. Whoop. Cap real moles are weird. Yeah, like, I don't know. I was just thinking about that. I gotta hydrate. I think I'm out of water. Okay, yeah, that was like my last sip. I'm out of water. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna get water and then I'm gonna go eat dinner. Like, damn. I haven't drawn like all weekend. I think that's why I'm still streaming. I've been missing, I've been missing drawing a little. So, ow. <laughs> With their weird, yeah, their noses are so weird. Like the star nose mole. Kind of nasty. And like, there's this one picture I found of this mole, like coming out of a hole. And I, I just, I don't know, I just think like, if I were to like, just be in my backyard, Going la la la, and then I fall and trip, and I land 
on the ground. If I like looked looked up and saw like a hole and then like a mole just came out of it, like I'd be like, oh my god, like I I'd, I'd be so scared. I ain't about to fuck with a mole in a hole. That's all I gotta say. I like how mole rhymes with hole, too. What do you think came first, the hole or the mole? I mean, like, as far as, like, vocabulary goes. <laughs> a nose. I know someone has a frog sona. I like frogs. It is it is interesting when you find people who have like 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 personas or just sonas in general that are just like very like strange things and you're just like what where did this come from why 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 did you decide that you were very mole like well what inside you possessed you and made you go i am a mole <laughs> i am a mole did a mole like crawl up in your hole <laughs> and make you a mole feel like a mole Have you seen natural habitats animations? It'll make you hate Momos even more. No, I have not. I don't think I have. Maybe I have. But I don't think I have. Crackers. An otter bit me now. I'm an otter. Where otter? Everyone I know who is a duck is a duck for more or less the same reason. What? Ducktails? <laughs> or something else? Daffy Duck? Donald Duck? Are there other ducks? Duck Danger? Too, like tired. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna make everything else a little lighter. The word mole for the animal is from mid 14th century, a word for hole as in a void or pit is from the early 17th century, so technically the word the mole came first. <gasps> You're the very eye. It's hard to say, but Duck Project's ace very hard. Like a duck persona says, I'm here to chill. <laughs> That's true. Like, I feel like ducks are like slightly goofy, but like cool. So it's like, I, I like ducks a lot. Ducks are just like funny little guys. 
little dudes running around. Ducks are funny. I like ducks. I like how they walk around and they go wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and they like flop. They got their flippers and junk. Or not flippers. Whatever their feet are called. The flippy plaps, yeah. Flaps. Do I like that though? I don't know. That feels like that feels like almost like desaturated. Nah, I don't like this color as much. I'm gonna go back. I'm going back. Oh no. Oh wait, okay. I thought I ran out of undos. Almost. Okay. What if I just did the orange? Eh. Ah, whatever. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Now we got... <sighs> this is my art for the night. <laughs> nice. I have not saved this this entire time. Holy cow, why do I keep doing this? Let me save this. Um... I'm gonna call it Macamol Macamolmon. There we go. Amazing, thanks, Maui. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll probably post this on Twitter. Maybe not all in one thing. I'll probably do like I'll probably do the Digimon together, maybe, and then Macamol on their own. Demodus, you're still going on about holes? <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> Should I can even mole now? In this one moment, yes. Here, deemed to remind me to save. Yeah. <laughs> Guess so. Alright. Let's find someone to raid. Um. I gotta get going. I gotta get going. Popping out. You know what? We might just not do a raid tonight.
I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. I'm not seeing anyone that's popping out to me. Corgi's the only one I see on? Corgi? Uh what's their what's their username? Corgi Cam? I've never rated Corgi Cam. I'll check them out. Golly! Uncapped subathon. Oh, they're doing a subathon. Oh, they're doing marbles on stream. Uh, they've been streaming for 28 hours. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Sure. Why not? That's insane. Uh, moles, 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 moles. All right. That'll be the. <laughs> that'll be the raid message. Oh yeah, I've never rated them before. I've never I've actually, I don't know if I've ever seen their stuff, but um, yeah, I don't know. We'll do that. Moles, 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 moles. Moles, 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 moles. Moles, 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 moles. Ah. All right, thanks so much, guys. Um, Holy cow, there's a lot of you. Holy sheesh, I did not expect that. Um, <laughs> Thanks so much. I will let everyone know as soon as possible when I'm going to stream again. I want to play some more Tunic, so probably, like, I'll probably do that sometime later this week. But, uh, yeah, I'll let you know exactly when. Probably Wednesday, but we'll see. We will see. I'm very excited to play some more of that. Thanks for keeping me company. Thanks for all the, the support and, I don't know, all that money. <laughs> all the bits. Like, what the hell? That was a lot. Thank you so much. I hope that y'all have a wonderful night. And yeah, I'm gonna go eat some, I'm gonna go eat some steak. I'm hungry. I am hungry. <laughs> thank you for the money. Thank you for the money. Wait, yeah, oh, that's what I said. Yeah, thank you for the money. <laughs> I was thanking you for the money. Yes, thank you for the money. <laughs> All right, uh, bye y'all. Have a good night. <laughs>